I think we're live. Hello, hello, hello. I think we're live now. I think we're live. That was weird. That was weird. You kept playing. Where's I don't know if we're live yet or not. I How about your computer? It. Can you see it on yours? That's what it should look like, but I don't see anybody popping in the chat. I think that you closed the show down. No, I didn't. No? I don't think so. You can close the app as long as you don't end the show. Well, we may or may not be live. We're not sure yet. <laughs> um, I don't know, Luke. I don't think it's working yeah, right. Yeah, my computer's showing us right. You're showing us on there? Oh, you got comments people. on you. I don't have any comments. Uh, yeah, that's odd. Um, Push the arrow, the, the something so I can see the comments here. We can hear you go through. I think we're going to have to restart the app. No, we should be able to push a button here. There's nothing here. Really? Yeah. Uh, let's see what they're saying. Swipe left. No, we're here. I think that the app is not working. So if you restart, if we restart the lose. app, will like, we lose everybody? Or we'll how's lose that all work? the notifications. Something we bring her phone in. They're saying go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Will that like hurt the auction? If we go out and come back in, are you guys gonna like? Will everybody disappear? I don't know if the notifications will go away. They're saying everybody will not disappear. I think what they do is it just uh, closes down. So I'll keep yours open. I'm going to restart the app. All right. Okay. New territory here. There. Now we're on there. Hello. Yeah. Now and we now we see it. Okay. <laughs> My little heart attack's on. <laughs> We've done that once already. I was thinking, oh, I hope we didn't just kill it again. <laughs> All right, so we are here today, guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, we got it. This is awesome. We got a really cool giveaway. That's We're going to give away this Boyd Bear today. Boyd is B-O-Y-D. Yeah, B-O-Y-D. Now, this one is a uh, – oh, this is a battery-operated thing, Luke. I don't know if it works. I don't have a battery. We got this out of this estate with all the stifes. Um, but anyways, it's got a little – it's brand I'm new, so I'm sure it's going to work. Day, He's got his tag still on him. Uh, I think he probably, Mamaw's right here with us. Come say hi, Mamaw. Mamaw said, Mamaw's here. Uh, she said it probably sings happy birthday. I, I'm um, thinking since it's a birthday cake. It says Boyd's Bears. This probably lights up. That probably, let me slide this over, Mamaw. You got to be able to get in the picture. Here, jump up in the front angle here. Look, I started the giveaway. All right, so we're giving this away. Uh, jump in there and join the giveaway. It's a Boyd Bear. It's battery operated. It's really cool and cute. Um, and so since we have all these bears today, we thought, let's give a bear away. Here, Travon, can you turn that down? <laughs> We're having technical difficulty day today, guys. We always have technical difficulties. Just logs today. All right, so let's read these comments, Luke. I'm, now, if I sit back this far, man, well, I can't read my comments. We'll sit up. Well, all right, you go. How about you squeeze it right behind me then? Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to read this. They're all saying hi, Mamaw. Hi, everybody. All right, I'll get right here, put Mamaw in the middle where I can read these comments. Hello from Independence, Kansas. Hello, and I gotta get caught back up on these comments here. Let me start at the top. She shed finds. We gotta do a she shed auction with Mamaw. How about that, Mamaw? We said when, when, when it warms up, we'll do a live from Mamaw's she shed. Uh, I can see you're live. Hello from Pennsylvania. It'll be fine. We're all good. We're here. Come back. Okay. And we have this really cool stipes behind us, guys. This is going to be a fun sale. Plus, we just added some more glass. And depending on uh, how long it goes and if you guys are with us, we actually bought a big collection of Fenton today. Yeah, a bunch of hand-painted Fenton. A bunch of animals, hand-painted Fenton animals. And we, we got a box of them upstairs. So I'm not going to promise that we would get to those, but we talked about it. Depending um, how we're feeling. Depending on how long this takes and how we're feeling, if there's technical difficulties. So... <laughs> Uh, hello, hello. Urbano, uh, Ohio. That's cool. Urbano, that's cool. And, and remember, we're giving away this guy right here as our as our giveaway um, right now. Now you got three minutes left to jump on there, and then we'll start the auction. Breathe. <laughs> I know this is so challenging to Luke and I. It is cold. You know what? We woke up this morning. It was uh, was it what zero or no? It was zero. It was like feel or the actual temperature was like two or three, and then the feel was like negative ten. Negative ten feels yeah. like that was so cold. Uh, Josh, Josh had an issue today. <laughs> oh. uh, he's been working on it all day because he's got a special guest coming in tonight. But do um, they know about that? No, we're not okay. saying anything. So, anyways, uh, Josh is at Josh's barn, Copper Top Farms. Uh, his water froze and the heat went out. <laughs> and around here, all of the electric went out last night. So it was what zero degrees, and no one in the area Negative had electric. Degrees. Negative degrees. Yeah, the the whole road lost electric. 
Yeah. And so Josh has been dealing with uh, getting pipes unthawed and uh, everything running proper and things like that. Hello from Kansas. That's cool. Uh, someone else says, hi, man, mom, my granddaughter and grand birthday. First birthday is on Saturday. Oh, That's cool. Had our first birthday on Saturday. Well, congratulations, man. We're excited. We got a grandbaby coming. Silk and I are going to be grandparents. Mamma is already a great grandma, but she's going to have another one. Soon I'll be Uncle Lucas. No, I'm just Lucas. And we'll, you guys will be able to sit here with Uncle Lucas. They said I'm dressed like time. an Eskimo. Eskimo. We're all dressing a little warm because we are. We we actually set our settings here at the auction to kick off kick off at four o'clock, and it drops to like forty five or fifty degrees at night. So Lucas and I just came in and it was sixty in here. So we're still bundled up. We're hoping it warms up a little bit. So Urbana, Illinois, uh, go Buffalo, Urbana. Hello, hello, uh, Southern Vintage Memories. Hello, um, yeah, hello from Vermont, Missouri. Love fitting animals. Well, that's cool. We we do have some. If we get to them, guys. Listen, depending on how the auction's going, I told Lucas, like, I'm I'm feeling it tonight. I feel pretty good. I have my I brought my Reese's cups in case I get hungry. And I have my little <laughs> drink in case I get thirsty. So we hopefully we don't have a hangry Lucas. <laughs> I, I made sure to eat and, and I got a big cup of coffee. I just started drinking. So uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. And then California, I got somebody from California is early still. So we got plenty of time. Um, yeah, Brazil. Brazil. Hello from Brazil. Oh, look, did you set that to international this time? No. <sighs> okay, we got a giveaway at the end of the show. The last thing we're going to do is give away. This is a really cool piece. This is a Christopher Radko Santa Claus original box. Uh, this is our last giveaway, but we're giving away the Boyd now. The end of the show, though, we're going to give that away. Who knows? We may have another one, too. I'm not sure. Uh, hello from Sun City, Arizona, 62, uh, Kansas. Okay, you guys got 40 seconds, and then we're going to start our auction up. I'm excited um, for tonight. So. It's going to be a fun. We, we are excited because this you, you've seen our video today, right? That's the Stife today? Or mm, was that two days that ago? That was two days ago. Two days ago. Um, on When we, we were coming back from picking up that Stife in Columbus, a school bus had gotten a wreck in front of us. Mm -hmm. And the, the state patrol out in my car on the way to the um, the van. The van. On my the van, right low beam. The right low beam clicked on said that we had no right low beam. So I was coming back with one headlight and I thought, well, great. I'm going to get me a ticket as we drive <laughs> two mile an hour by all these state patrol pulled with a busload of kids uh, in a little fender bender. But <laughs> the, the accident wasn't bad. It was a really minor one, but they had to call. Uh, you could just tell like parents were picking kids up on the side of the road with the buses and stuff. So. Like Anyways, oh, uh, winner! Here comes the winner for the first giveaway, and we're going to start this auction. And it goes to Z. What's that say? Two Luke? peas in a pod. Vintage. Two peas in a pod. From here, it looked like a Z. I'm going to have to get stronger glasses, guys. Um. All right, man. So, yeah, man, you guys are awesome. We got people from everywhere. This is so excited. Uh, we have been working at the Antique Center too on our new whatnot sales room. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get there in about maybe three or four weeks. Not sure if we're going to be ready next week to set the world record with Kate. We're, we're, uh, Janet said we're not ready yet because I don't have the room set up, but we're working on it. We may or may not get there. We'll find out. We'll find out what Kate wants to do, and uh, we're going to go for it. Her and I are going to break that world record soon. <laughs> uh, Wisconsin, Lucas did very well on the promo on this auction. He did that by himself, too. That was awesome. Yeah, it took me a lot of retakes. I'm actually a little camera shy, if you guys believe it or not. <laughs> Lucas has always been an introvert and very shy in front of people, so he's been getting out of his bubble over the past uh, few months. A lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Mamo, we're going to sell our first item. Why don't you just turn around and grab a piece? A stife. You got to grab a stife. All right, plush duck. Luke, can you find Willa? So the okay, the stife animals, guys. Um, if you don't, if you didn't see our video, all of the stifes that we're selling today um, came from a lady in Columbus, Ohio, and we actually have been selling to this lady's grandmother uh, for how long? Look what I say, probably forty years. I mean, uh, my entire life, we've always time. sold to her grandmother. Her grandmother had passed away, and then her mom had collected as well, and then her mom told her daughter to call us, and so about a month ago, we sold a bunch of stife. And we also sold some. Uh, what were the what were the uh, pictures? The uh, pea buffy mosses, pea buffy mosses, mosses, and some longer burgers. And then the other daughter, uh, there was two daughters, and the other one called us up last week and said, "Hey, uh, you bought all my mom's stuff, my grandma's stuff, and my sister's stuff. Can you come buy my stuff too?" And we were like, "Well, sure, we'll come out." And uh, so that's how we got the stice. So these were we only we've only known these since Friday. Forget, but, but you know what I thought was really cool about that is the grandmother, their grandmother or their mom gave them each a piece of the. The what's the glass? The Baroque. 
Oh yeah, the the Baroque. So uh, is what, it, uh, Cambridge or Heisey or Falstoria? I forget. Falstoria. Baroque. It's Falstoria. Baroque. Baroque. Yeah. And so one daughter had half the set, and the daughter we just got has the, the other, the other half. half. And, and we sold really, we sold the first yeah, half. Yeah, we did already. sell the first half. I just thought that was really cool yeah. to see that, like she had the second half of the set. You know, that was really cool. <clears throat> All right, and then also uh, my friend from. Go ahead and start this auction. Let's start. start we're talking. Thirty yeah. seconds on. Okay, the we're gonna put this on the clock, guys. Start bidding on it. It is a plush. It is stipe. It's got a tag here. It's got all the paperwork hanging off the, the, the rear side, and it's got the yellow tag here. And that is just cute. The all plush, stife duck. It's a squeaky. I didn't realize it. I never squeezed it. It's a, it's a, it's a squeaky. <laughs> I haven't seen this strict duck or squirrels in years. Well, you know what? We have it here today. And the colors on that's cool with the green like that. Uh, like this a is a special mallet. piece, guys. Uh, really cool stuff. It's just saying buy me and, and go home. And so Nanny, Nanny Poo 62, you are oh, so awesome. You, we love that you've been with us all the time. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, and oh, it brought $27. So, um, Mamma, do you want to drop them over there? We'll give you the bag and let you drop them. I'll grab the next item and then we will keep on going. Okay. So, um, while Lucas is getting the next one ready, I want to just talk to you a little bit more about my friend from Florida. Uh, this will be the next item. My friend from Florida that called me earlier today. So we're at a house call and we're, we're picking up a, a thousand Pez containers. Uh, and at the same house call, we get a thousand Pez containers. What else did we get, Luke? The Fenton collection. Fenton collection. A thimble collection. Yeah. Uh, porcelain miniature box collection. And some silver. And bunch gold. of sterling jewelry. Uh, some gold gold jewelry. Um, oh. right, Papaw, you can't turn that on over there. We'll get <laughs> feedback <laughs> everywhere. Okay. okay. Uh, Papaw's over there in the background la laughing at us, making fun, reading comments. Yeah, I'm trying to shut this bag up as you can me shut <laughs> So anyways, uh, all of those items. So while we're in there and we're doing that, my friend from Florida calls and says, hey, Jacob, I am going to be there tomorrow. Uh, the one that always brings me the jewelry. Uh, you know, I keep telling you guys I get jewelry from Florida. And so he called and he said he's bringing in some jewelry from Florida. So we will have some more bag lots of jewelry coming up. But I saw so what I did is I went and looked and I had two boxes that I hadn't opened yet from him. There's four bags in each box. Uh, those are not listed, but we're going to sell those towards the end of the sale. And they are really good ones. These are ones he actually mailed to me. And, he, you know, they're pretty special when he actually mailed them. So, hey, did you, start you guys this double yet? check and make sure that's the right one? Somebody just asked if that's the right style. Jackie, I'm not worried. Is, it, is this the right style? Is this the right style? I believe that's the right style. Is this the right one? It should be white, a white tag ear, Jackie. Um, yep. Nanny yep. Poo said yes. I Nanny, believe I believe Nanny Poo. She's she's awesome. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So white. St okay, Lucas. Now I'm gonna turn this over. To Lucas. He's been studying on Stife now since we're selling Stife. Tell us about the white tag. Okay. Well, I didn't look like I didn't get time to study it like I did uh, the paperweights. But anyways, the white tag Stife means that's a limited edition or it's made for a certain country. So as far as I know, that they would if they were selling to a certain country for like a limited amount of time, they would make the white tag Stife. But also they make the white tag stifes for collectors. So if they're like making a, a retro throwback stife or special order or special or, order. So this stife is a reproduction of like an 18, like a 19, early 1953. 1900s. Yeah, 1953 reproduction. reproduction. So that's what the white sticker means. It's for the collectors to know that it's not just a off the shelf stife. It's actually a limited edition. Limited edition 1953 replica of Jackie. And this is what you're getting. Run the auction. They've all seen it. And right, yeah. uh, boom, the auction should be going right. We started? Uh, yeah, it started. Okay, it started. This is a great stife, guys. All jointed stife, again, uh, out of the collection. Columbus, Ohio, third generation um, of, of ladies that it got from their grandma. And that is a great stife. Now, you know, we, we, uh, we've really had not sold a whole lot of stife on whatnot because we generally would never sell them on this platform. But uh, we've seen you guys have some interest in them. We thought, let's keep let's, let's sell this collection straight to you guys from whatnot. Um, and we've only had them up here for just a couple of days. Papal's eating my Reese's over there. Papal's <laughs> eating Lucas's Reese's. He might get hangry after all, <laughs> but Papal won't be. <laughs> Nanny Poo, thank you. $46 uh, from Nanny Poo 62. Thank you so much again. Uh, and you know what, Luke? We're, gonna, we're just going to keep moving these, okay? More stars? Yeah. Um, well, I want to throw something else. Let's do, let's do uh, let me look. We can do something else. Okay, let's sell a paperweight. A late edition paperweight. The red one, the swirl. Uh, okay, so this paperweight uh, was this was really fun. Lucas and I were working out at the antique center. Um, did you re put a message on the Stive Facebook page? No, I did not. Um, 
yeah, I generally don't advertise on Facebook for anything. I so. had no idea that was. I didn't even know. Thing. Yeah, we we don't spend a lot of time advertising that way. Um, anyways, this paperweight right here, guys. Uh, two and a half hours ago, we did not own, <laughs> so yeah. we just got this paperweight. We bought it uh, on the way to this auction, and we thought that would be a fun one to have tonight. So yeah, well, um, we were just working at the heart, and we looked in the. <laughs> looked in one of the booths and I'm like, well, that's a really cool. Yeah. Movie. So, so there was a lady that just came out with, uh, and put a new booth together and this was in her booth and we thought that's a pretty cool paperweight. Now that's got a really tiny, tiny ding right here on the side. Um, and it's got, uh, like some bubbles, but the bubbles are supposed to be there. Uh, the ground thing? bottom is just that's small right here. Really tiny. You can see that. Are you sure? It's, not a little... oh, it's like a bubble that maybe burst or a ding. I'm not sure. Hmm. It's just small, but it's, it's right here. Uh, does it shine? Mamo wants to know. This is what it looks like with a black light under it. Um, so not a whole lot there. Let me see. Ooh, it looks really cool without the bright light. To pull that bright light down once. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So that's what it looks like with a uh, black light under it. Don't drop it. Uh, I'm not going to drop this one this week. <laughs> <laughs> Did that already last week. So let's sell that paperweight. Yep. There we go. And this is one you're getting. We don't. There's no maker on that. No maker. It's unsigned, it's but it's but it's gorgeous. Swirl. Flat bottom. And it's got it's got like the the bubble pattern like that goes Christmas all the way up and around it. Uh, just a really gorgeous paperweight. Um, we thought you guys would appreciate it, so we decided to put it up in today's auction. That that right there is our light facing us. So that that little light that's going away, that's naturally what it would look like without the white light. And this is the blue or black light on top of it. But you can't really see. Can't it. really see it really well through there. No, but that's the one you're getting. And uh, we thought it would be a fun addition in today's auction. Just see how it does. You know, we're still learning prices on whatnot. We're not sure what stuff brings yet. So we're we're still definitely here's what it looks like from the straight on view. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. Almost looks like a great big eye. It kind of looks like a it reminds me of an octopus. An octopus. Yeah. Right, how does that Christmas remind you of an tree. octopus? I don't know. It just does. Christmas tree. Mammal says it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> no, I don't know. All right. Uh, Nick Nichols. Sergeant. Nickel Sergeant. Nickel Sergeant. All right. Congratulations. I, I don't reckon. Was that a first time buyer? First time buyer. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and it was a $23 bid on that one. Congratulations. Okay. Let's go with, oh man, I don't know which one to get. Uh, bear. Let's go bear. Let's go bear. Let's go another bear. These are so fun, guys. Mammal. All right. So Lucas, this one's got a white tag with red writing. And this is fun because it's got the porcelain tag on the back. Um, and then it says Margaret Stife on the back and it says 1997. This is 150 year anniversary for Margaret Stife. So Lucas, you learned a little bit about Margaret Stife today. Uh, tell our viewers, this got the tags okay. on the front. Tell our viewers what you learned today about Margaret Stife. So Margaret Stife, when she was just eight months old, she got polio. And so she was wheelchair bound for the rest of her life. But, uh, so she became a seamstress. I believe that's called a seamstress. Yeah. Where she made a like she made specifically women's and children's clothes. And then one day she was she made an elephant, I believe it was. And I I think she just fell in love with making animals, I guess. And one year or a couple years later, I believe it was seven years later, her nephew Richard joined her in making all the uh, animals, and he became obsessed with teddy bears. And so they made a bunch of teddy bears. Uh, what else is there? Start the auction while you're talking. Oh, All right. So we're, <laughs> we're going to start the auction. we got a lot to sell today. Uh, but, yeah, Lucas is learning a ton of stuff. Uh, I bought the marble. Yeah, that's a big old piece of glass. That's awesome. The marble was ginormous. That was pretty, too. Oh, so it wasn't the first time bidder. She bought the marble already. That's what she's saying. Maybe it's oh, the last was it? time. Nickel? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nickel Sergeant. Yeah. Was it yellow? I don't know. I, I keep forgetting to look if it's yellow or not. <laughs> okay. So anyways, this is the one that you're getting, guys. It's got tags hanging from everywhere and the black or the porcelain plaque on it's the back. Necklace. It's, it's a necklace. necklace that Mamma <laughs> says it's supposed to go this way. Yes. Okay. So, well, I mean, a back shield. That's how they do it. Yeah, graduation ceremonies, right? They wear it on the back. I don't know. It's on the front now. Uh, this is the one you're getting. And it is so cute, guys. It is a jointed teddy bear, obviously. Um, it's got a little bit of a hunch back, back here. Uh, Bella 1313, congratulations, $52. Uh, thank you so much for bidding. Bella 1313. Okay. Yep. Thank um, you for bidding. Congratulations on the stife. So we gotta we gotta sell another stife and then we'll we'll mix up uh, um, man. Now the bears just keep getting bigger and better, guys. I mean, this one is a taller piece. It's got all the tags on it still. It's got the genuine mohair 1909 replica tag on it. Uh, the stife. This was probably done in the 90s or something. I'm, mess, I'm guessing. Uh, anyways, another gorgeous stife. 
you know what's interesting is after we started selling life stife lucas lucas said hey dad i got one of them in my room that me and noah and Kaylin do i never realized it was just like well i knew stice was a company but <laughs> before we actually started buying and selling them i never realized this he just thought we had an old teddy bear we gave him but we well gave it's him not really even a cool teddy bear it, my brother has a huge donkey and then my sister has a panther and then i have i guess it is a, a teddy bear. bear on wheels it's a teddy bear on wheels <laughs> okay this one's got a tag on the bottom to start the auction on this one this is a tall one how is it what is it nine Started, and a half that's uh, more than nine sitting, and a half while sitting while sitting. Sit, oh, that's while sitting. Who measures while sitting? I, way <laughs> taller than nine and a half inches, guys. This is not a nine and a half inch bear. It's way taller than that. Here. Um, yeah, put the tape measure up. That's that's a lot taller. That's a foot, right? There's here. a foot, and it's taller than that. So it's maybe a 14 inch. This is a big teddy bear. Maybe a 14 inch teddy bear. Um, always measure them standing up. Oh, well, most of them are measured while sitting. So. All of our measurements are while they're sitting for the most part, guys. So you have to read that whether it's sitting or standing. Um, <laughs> it makes a big difference. And it does all move. It's all jointed. Really cool stuff with the original paper tags hanging all over it, even on the bottom down here. So, lots of fun coming up, right? Yeah, lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff. Um, we, we just have a lot of exciting things that have been happening with remodel and getting the auction uh, the auction room ready uh, to be able to do more whatnot stuff. And Janet's got, she's getting starting to get excited too. I bet she's watching. Um, <laughs> hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. I know Janet's watching. Lucas, oh, stole, Lucas stole her Reese's. Lucas stole Janet's Reese's and then Papaw stole Lucas's. So <laughs> I, I guess Papaw stole your Reese's if you yeah. Nanny Poo 62. All right, Nanny Poo 62 on that one. Okay. Uh Luke, we're gonna go back to a piece of glass and then back to Stife, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna keep it mixed. Uh, Congratulations, Nanny Poo. Where would where did this one come from? Do you remember? What are we looking at? Did you say the oh, So that this is Murano. Uh this is a piece of Murano. Uh, we, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. This came out of one of our Florida groupings, guys. That's an unusual piece of glass, and it's got a Murano paper label on it. Uh, right here is the label. It's it's barely on there still, but it still is on original label. Um, there you go. I didn't say the price. How much oh, was the price on that? Like sixty six dollars, I believe. Maybe like, less. Sixty four. Sixty four. It was around that price. Sorry, guys, I forgot to say the price again. Uh, but anyways, you can set this like different ways. You can set it down on the table sideways to look at it that way. You can flip it over that way. You can even set it down this way. So this has got multiple directions. They you said it was 66. 66. Okay. Uh, $66. I can't see the prices after it goes away on my phone here. So sorry. Uh, anyways, Lucas, start the auction on this one. Uh, Murano. Yep, there we go. Yep. There we go, guys. Um, art glass. Oh, art glass, Murano. And it's just got great color to it. Look at look the, all the white specks all over it. If you can see that brown all the way through, yeah, you can see it. Uh, does it glow? No, no glow. There's some reflection, but no glow. No glow. No glow. Uh, but it is Murano paper tag. What What does it say besides Murano? I didn't try it in Italy. Italy. Um, Handmade Murano? Verto something or other. Murano made in Italy, and there's a bunch of other writing on there. Oops, that I can't. I can't really read because it's in Italian and I can't speak and Italian. Pointer Dogs won the Pointer auction. Dogs. Thank you so much. It was $39 on the Murano sculpture. Um, we had something really funny happen on a review today, didn't we, Luke? Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial, funny review that we had today. So I'm just going to talk about it because I think it's funny. Uh, pull up the Mary Gregory picture while I'm talking about it. Uh, Mary Gregory picture, uh, while we're selling this, I'll explain what happened on our review today. Again, uh, this was one that we just seen and we thought, let's try that. It was in a booth. Um, it's blown glass. It's Mary Gregory. Um, it's got the scene in the front. And this is a new dealer out at the Antique Center. So it was only in our booth. Uh, they just moved in two days ago. I have no idea. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just two days ago. Sold for $39. Wow. Did I say that? I think I said that. Maybe I didn't. Um, anyways, this was right there. And we thought, hey, there's another piece we could throw on the what, what not sale tonight. So we wanted to throw a few pieces of extra glass on. Mary Gregory. It's got some bubbles in it and all that. But it, it's a pretty cool piece. It is all blown. There's no chips or cracks. Um, applied handle on the side. So let's just sell that. Yep, there you go. It's pretty. It is very, very pretty. Um, so while we're selling this, we had a review. Very funny. A guy gave us a one on Google. Um, and the review said that we were buying all the stuff out of the antique center to sell on whatnot and that there's no good buys there. They said something. we're buying all the good stuff. We're buying all the good stuff. I mean, I was shocked when when I read the when I when I heard about the review. I'm like, well, that's funny because there's there's two hundred thousand items there. We don't even own but just a small fraction of it. Um, but I do have two warehouses with like 20,000 square feet of stuff in it. I'm not trying to 
buy all the stuff out of the mall. I just thought it was a comical thing. Um, people misunderstand what we do sometimes. We're trying to have fun. We're trying to educate our audience as well as make a little bit of money. Uh, Turner Family won this one. First time buyer. Uh, make a little bit of money, but also also uh, really like uh, increase the business at the Antique Center because we have a, like a thousand $32. people there that, that buy and sell. So hey, thank anyways, you for bidding. First time buyer. First time Turner buyer. Family. Turner Family, thank you so much for bidding. It was, it was $32. Uh, blessings to you. We appreciate it so much. So anyways, I just thought that was kind of funny um, on the review that we're we're buying all the good buys and bringing them to the whatnot channel. Yeah, there's like a few hundred thousand items in there. So I don't know how we can do that. <laughs> That'd be impossible to do. Uh, I'm getting ready. I got to read, the, read this. Um, hmm. It's all for sale. I think Austin support. Yeah, we're just trying to support our vendors. Like the, the glass that we sold tonight, we thought, well, you know what? It was a new person that moved in. Uh, the prices were reasonable. And we thought, hey, let's just throw it up and whatnot and see what happens. So anyways, uh, this is a Perry. Now, this is an older piece. This is uh, the yellow tag on this. It's got, uh, let's read this for a second. Original. It's number 2040-22. slash This one says made in Austria. That's interesting because. I know. I was confused uh, by that. Steiff is in Gingen, which is in Germany. But this is an older an older tag on this guy. So here's the guy. It's an older piece. It says Perry, and it's got uh, copyright Walt Disney Productions. Um, yeah, this is just a fun piece, guys. You guys know what it is way more than Lucas and I. Uh, but we know that it's right here for you to bid on. And this is what it looks like. He is cute as a button. There's the bottom. Uh, so let's sell that one. Start that one off. And here is the next knife. Um, Don't worry about that, Natalie. We'll take care of that. What is she doing? She's wrapping. Oh, yeah. You don't need to wrap. Just just uh, set it over there. We'll, we'll wrap everything up and take care of it. Yep, no problem. So, yeah, anyway, so Mamaw and Papa are both here uh, helping us today. Uh, we don't know where the review came from. Look, I'm not trying to stir anything. I'm just, I just thought it was funny because, like, I'm like, man, we're, we're having a good time. We're, we're trying to help our vendors out, help you guys out, uh, create a, another channel to sell stuff uh, for our vendors. Nanny Poo, 62, congratulations, uh, $35. That was a bargain. Great buy on that. That was a very good buy. That was a really good buy. Uh, we see those priced a lot more at the Antique Center. Um, okay, so let's get a book. Let me get a book. Out there at the antique for kind of funny today because I've seen. So this one here is the the, the Agony and the Ecstasy by Irving Stone, and this one has a little bit of wear on the very top right here. Um, you you see it, but other other than that, it's in really great condition. That was probably when they had packed the box up or dropped a book or something, but. It doesn't even look like it's it's been really red. If it has, it's been minimal. Um, great great condition. This is by Gene Stone, and this is uh, Luke has all the info on there, right? Uh, I, did you put I the date so. and stuff of what? No, it was? I, oh, you didn't do any of that. Well, okay. there's no there's no actual. There's so a 1961 date, no is when date. this was made. It was by Dudley and Company. Um, uh, you know, is when it was published. Um, and anyways, this is the one that you're buying. So the problem if, is, this is one of these collectors ones, the, the, the international collector society. Oh, I started it. Did you start it? Okay. All the other, we thought, we thought that, I don't know how these do. I'm not sure. Um, so let's just see what this one says about if anybody likes this one or not. It's got just that tiny little spot there. Um, we were going to wait for the Emphora, how do we say it again? Emphora, 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 Emphora is out, the paper good sale. We were going to put them in that to, on tomorrow, but uh, we, we may have a curveball in tomorrow's auction. So we thought, let's just throw this on here. Um, anyways, uh, I'm trying to get caught back on the comments. Or Yeah, our, our dealers are loving it. You know, We appreciate all you guys that are visiting and, and buying and, and shopping and the uh, whatnot support and YouTube support. Man, it's been, it's been just an exciting ride so far, so far and we want, to, we want to keep going on with you guys. So uh, Judo tells first time bidder, right? Judo Joe, that was Josiah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> that's just Josiah. That's so funny. Ten dollars. That's you know, Joe. That's he Josiah. said he's going to look at the. He's going to try and buy those books because he likes those books. Did he really? Yes. Okay, so I didn't know that. Well, Josiah bought a book. He that actually was hilarious. he wanted a Pete or the War book. I forget what it was called. Ah, uh, hey, he might have to pay more for this one. Somebody will beat him up. Let's what sell another it? book. This one here is uh, Lust for Life by Irving Stone. That's hilarious. Um, anyways. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't know he wanted those books. We just sold them to him. Um, I thought I told you. Congrats, Joe. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, let's keep uh, let's keep moving these along, Luke. So this is the next book. Uh, same <laughs> series that's already running. It's International Collectors Library. 
And these were like reprinted in the most of them were done in the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Judo Joe, that is so cool. I mean, that's a cool name for him, too. Hey, you name. know, Josiah is a national contender in uh, Judo. For those of you guys that don't know that, uh, this says 1937, but I'm sure this was reprinted in like the 60s. But here's the interior cover. Uh, that's the one you're buying. Four seconds left if you're interested in that book. <laughs> I don't know if anybody is. Oh, Josiah is. <laughs> uh, Judo Joe. <laughs> You need you need to do a moderator on here. Uh, well, what does that mean? I'm a moderator, but I'm always in the show. <laughs> Lucas is doing both. He's moderating and showing. I'm not uh, sure what a moderator even does. <laughs> we're gonna have to watch more other whatnots. Well, congratulations to uh, Judo Joe. <laughs> That's so funny that Judo Joe got that one. All right, Luke, let's sell uh, Stife again. Yep, grab one. Uh, all right, let's go plush. Now. This guy is wild. What is this? I did is not this, know. We weren't sure what animal this is. That's how little I can I know. What is that? A chipmunk? A chipmunk? I don't know. It's big. Like it's it's a, a beaver. A beaver, somebody said. It's got a big beaver tail. I guess that would be a beaver. I just called it an animal because I had no idea. Okay, so it's, it's a beaver. A tooth in there. It's got a tooth in the front. Okay, we, we should have looked closer, Luke. It's got the tail. Does it have the a tail tooth? gives it away. Well, I saw the tail, but then I didn't see any teeth. So you didn't see any teeth? <laughs> Okay, well, it's a plush, guys. It's got the yellow and red tag on the side. We're going to sell that one right here. Um, the Wombat. I, I don't know. Groundhog. I have no idea. It, it is uh, adorable. We're going to sell an adorable Stife uh, right here. So I started the auction. Lucas has started the auction. The auction is running. It's 12 inches tall. Getting ready uh, not sure what he is, so please tell us. Tell us. That's what you wrote. Uh, Caddyshack. That's what that is. He's from Caddyshack. What? Caddyshack. The Who's movie. It's a movie. John Candy. Oh, we're gonna educate Lucas. Uh, he has anyway, to watch it now. he's got to watch it. You gotta watch Caddyshack. I don't think so. Yeah, it's well, a good movie. Funny. It's a woodchuck. Somebody said woodchuck. Groundhog. I don't know. On the golf course. Uh, this is. He's cute. Now is that is that considered kitsch? I don't no, know. No, it's just cute. It's just cute. Okay, it's cute. Cute. It's very cute, but it is stife. It's got the tag, uh, and it is a plush. And he's a big, big animal. I mean, this <laughs> thing's huge. Big. Nanny Poo, 62, congrats again. Thank you so much at $51. Got the stife. Um, okay, Luke, let's go with a piece of glass. Okay. This is the only piece of glass we had pre-uploaded. Um, this was a, a piece out of the mansion that we sold from Troy, Ohio. Um, and Lucas was unboxing stuff for, for the other auction this week, and he goes, Dad, I'm putting this on whatnot. That is absolutely stunning. And so I said, okay, well, let's it, do it then. I don't know if they can see it, but there's like this yellow gold. or gold. Yeah, yeah. It's like gold. Flex. You see all that gold, the gold coloring throughout the entire thing. It's got like a gold. When the uh, light hits it, you can see the gold. Yeah. I don't know if that blows or I not. Know, Let me it. see. No, it doesn't. No, not, not really. That's not what the all. inside. It doesn't blow. No, it just kind of turns a little color. Um, but I thought this was that's cool what it does. It's also from that mansion. But it's, it's from the, the mansion. Uh, it's probably in the blue room. But it's got like a pulled feather going up with the red applied handles. It's got the ruffled top, and then this these stripes here all have like gold gold colored striping on each side of the red, and then there's gold speckles throughout the entire piece. It's really um, absolutely stunning. And Lucas said, "Hey, we are putting that up for our whatnot fans, Let, uh, customers, fans. I'm not sure what we call it. People yeah, on whatnot. Started the auction. The whatnot auctions. So that's what we're doing, guys. Uh, this is Lucas's pick. Um, the height is on there, right? Uh, eight inches. Yep, eight inches. Eight inches tall. Applied handles. It's not signed. Uh, here's a picture of the bottom. Yep. Here's it's bottom. blown. It's blown. It's all blown glass. Uh, stunning piece, guys. Absolutely stunning." Yeah, you know, even even the handle on this side, this handle here's got like all those lines in it, and this one's smooth. That's interesting. I know. I thought that's wild. I noticed that as well. Really cool piece. But yeah, I un I unboxed this and I was like, wow. Okay, uh, Turner Family to. one again. Turner Family, thank you so much. Right, we have to put that on. What Congratulations! Now? It was eighty nine dollars. Uh, blessings. Thank you so much for that one. Um, okay, we're gonna keep moving because we got a lot of fun stuff to do. Okay, now Luke, this here, I don't know if this is a whatnot item or not. What is it? But it's so cool. I love it. Check out the work on this piece. This is the back side, and this is the front side. Absolute stunning. Uh, some kind of a, like a, uh, it's not really a porcelain, but it's kind of not really a pottery. It's kind of, it looks, reminds me of like an Italian piece, but it's not signed anywhere. Now, I um, want to see, what I'm excited about this piece is see how Janet ships it. To see how Janet ships it. But look at the butterfly. I mean, you got a butterfly up top, and you got a bow at the bottom. It's got the handles. It's got, like, the green applied here. And this is, like, a tapestry piece here. And if you can see this, 
it's actually like a it's got layers of, of pottery that are all different heights that this is so there this isn't smooth these are all different layers of, of heights in here and then you got the polka dot background and then on the back you got this crazy like geographical is that a signature is that like a p i have no idea honestly here here you go that's what the I, I don't know man this thing is know, wild it's, like it's huge and it's beautiful and uh janet is awesome Janet gets to ship this one. <laughs> yeah. She's probably yelling at the screen right now. What are you doing? As soon as you picked this out, I went like, when we, I went to the heart. I said, "My dad's trying to make or give you a challenge." <laughs> well, I I just thought this was the most incredible thing. Um, incredible thing. I thought it was absolutely stunning, and I thought let's put it on whatnot. It's all handmade, uh, one of a kind item with, and that's all like hand hand decorated. That's just gorgeous, guys. Let's sell it, Luke. Yep. Here we go. So this is interesting. It's even got like if you can hang it, it's got three little holes over here where you could probably hang that with wire. <laughs> you see what Janet says? No, she if can't. I can ship a gas pump to Switzerland, I can ship that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Janet, Janet's amazing. Didn't you ship a car to Europe one time, Janet? If I'm not mistaken, I think you sent a car. What? Uh, yeah, like a full car, yeah, a full car on a container or something. I, I think she did. Anyways, uh, that's the one you're buying, guys. This is the gorgeous piece of pottery. Uh, put some pasta in there, bring it back. Lucas would eat it up. Yes, I would. <laughs> Any kind of pasta Chicken wouldn't matter. Chicken carbonara. Chicken carbonara. Oh, yeah. I like What'd you have? We had wings, a little bit of leftover wings tonight, right? Yeah, leftovers. leftovers. Tonight. We had leftovers tonight. That's why Lucas had to bring a snack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Janet does rock. Uh, go, Janet. But this is great, guys. The coloring. And then I love the back. Like you flip that around, it's like a whole other thing going on back there. And it's got some kind of a signature thing. I don't know what that is. The gates, the gates of, of hail. hail. <laughs> the gates of hail. That is funny. Congratulations, forty-seven dollars. Thank you uh, so much for bidding. Blessings to you. Uh, okay, let's go back to a scythe. We're gonna keep mixing them up. That's the ring girl, girl, is it? Ring girl. No, I don't think it is. Flower girl. Because I cannot girl? find that with the wedding people. Oh, so these two go with these two? Yep. Okay. Well, we should sell those first, though. Okay. And maybe that's their baby. Let's do a squirrel next. Oh, yeah, yeah, Keki. one everywhere. We're going, we're going, oh, is it Ke Ke uh, Keki? Keki the squirrel. All right, we're going to sell the squirrel next. Um, yeah, Stife. It's got the paper tag on the bottom. It is plush. It's got the paper tag underneath here. It's got the yellow yellow tag and the button in the ear still. And that's an older tag. Um, you guys can see it. Here is the tag. Try and hold that up where you can see it. Um, and it's in really good condition. All these Stifes are. Uh, anyways, this is the one that you get next. And let's start the auction. Yeah, here we go. So we'll start it. I um, gotta say, these cute stipes, I like the cute stipes a lot more than the movable joint stipes. Really? Yes. Oh, I love those old, like the bears. I love the the bears. My my favorite are the bears, especially the ones with the the hunchbacks. They look like the early ones, like the Margaret Stipe pieces and stuff. Um, but Lucas likes the plush. He's he he likes plush. I do like plush. It's because he's so I soft. Have little, <laughs> I have a little plush uh, cactus that I like. I have it in my car because it's so soft. Do you really? Yeah. That's why you got it? It's soft. <laughs> it's soft. He likes plush. He's a softie. Oh, okay. Uh, J Jason Thorne, first time bidder. Uh, price was $69. Jason, Jason, what does it say? Jason on the you run? Can read it right there. Where? It's really tiny. Read the well, name. Well, congratulations. Thank you for being Jason Theoron. The, the Thor Jason. Jason. Well, we know Jason. Thank you so much, Jason, for bidding. Uh, $69 is the price. Okay, so here is another piece of Jason Thorin. Thorin, okay. Jason Thorin. That's how you say it. I That's think. how you say it. This is cool. Again, this is that same booth uh, at the Antique Center. And we thought, man, let's just get that one too. And Bro, we're helping a dealer out. Plus, we get a really cool paperweight for whatnot. And this is a crystal paperweight. I could not find a signature on this thing, but this is gorgeous. Look at the lines on this thing. Um, very, very, very beautiful piece. Doesn't do anything under black light. So. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm gonna hold it by the tail so you can really see how big this thing is. Five, in almost five inches. Five inches, but look, look at the detailing, guys. That is gorgeous. All right, let's sell it. And it's got the lines in there. It kind of looks like a heart. That's what Kirby Thrifter just said. It looks like a heart when you do it this way. And I just started it. Okay, the auction is running. It is crystal. It's a uh, all crystal, uh, blown paperweight of a heart dove. No, I'm confused. We'll call it a heart dove. It's a love. It's a love dove. It is a love dove, isn't it? Hey, you know what? Uh, that machine we sold. Did you see that video? No. What? 
Did you see the the the, the squeezing machine I had on the, the YouTube love video? Tester. The no. love tester. <laughs> Lucas didn't get to see it. Someone asked for if, if Lucas ever squeezed that thing, and uh, you hadn't even seen the video. He I don't even think he knows what it is. He didn't get to see. Yeah, that I have no idea what you guys are talking about. So yeah. that's funny. Um, anyways, this is the the paperweight that you're getting right now. The love dove is about the, to go. The love dove is about to go. Bye bye. And who gets it? Wyoming mom won Wyoming the auction. Mom. Congratulations. Congratulations, $19. Uh, it looks like a heart shape. That was really That'd cool. Be good for Valentine's. It'd be a great Valentine's Day. That's a good buy. That was a really good buy. Uh, and so see, that was less money than we paid for it. Yeah, that was the second item we've lost on today. So <laughs> <laughs> but we're learning a good lesson. Yep. Okay, um, uh, let's get a book, and then we'll go back to some stuff. It says Wyoming's mom payment failed. So uh, Wyoming's mom payment. When that happens, just uh, just uh, yeah, you probably get a notice from the bank or something. Sometimes they think we're uh, we're scammers because we're selling at you know what. 8.30 or 9 o'clock on, on, a, on, a, on a late night on a, what is it today? Monday? Monday. Today's Monday, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're selling this one. This one here is Crime and Punishment. Um, it's the International Collector's Library. And this is the next book. Here's the cover, the binder, the book. This looks like the same age as the rest of them. What are they out of the 60s, I'm assuming? They're all in that range. Um, this one looks a little older. It might be a little older, so let's just look. Yeah, I couldn't find a date. I'm no date. You. There's no date on this one. Okay, well, anyways, it's dateless. That's the one you're buying. We don't know the date. Uh, this is the age. It looks appears to be probably out of the 50s or 60s, and that's the book you're buying. Yeah, let's see if Josiah gets this book, too. All right, let's see if Judo Joe. Now, we were talking about that. Joe, he probably would never want anybody to know this, but he, how many championships has he won? Oh, uh, it's like a whole rack full of medals. He's got like just a massive amount of medals for judo. And uh, he won, was it nationals? He's won several states. Several state I, championships. I think he and, went to a nationals and I think, I believe he won it. It was like in Kentucky or something and he won it. He, I think so. Yeah. So Joe, Joe, he traveled, he still, he still does judo. Him and Lucas actually grapple. Uh, if you're not familiar with what grappling means, it's kind of like fighting, but they're not mad at each other. So that's kind of what they do. They get in their mat, they go out there to the barn, and they just go at it, and uh, they'll do it and like torture each other for hours at a time, um, and and just come out, come home all sweating. Is, that, and, is he the one that rolled down the hill? Yes, he's the one that rolled down the hill. That's Judo Joe. He was using his judo going down that hill. <laughs> He's going to get mad at us when he stops oh. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, the down the hill roll or the judo? <laughs> that was so funny to watch that video. I still laugh when I watch it. Um, you would you run the five-inch stife bear with the original tags? Yep, I'll get that one next for you. We'll get them all eventually. We're going to run everything. Uh, we'll, we'll keep going pretty quick. Um, and then we got some stuff. If we can get through it all and we have time, we're going to sell some unlisted items. Oh, so Judo Joe 10 is in. <laughs> what does it say? Just high as in. Just high as in again. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's not too mad because he's still bidding. There we go. Juno you know Joe 10 won the auction. Okay. Uh which which bear was that one? The little one. Right? No, five inch bear. Is, well, is that five inches sitting down or standing yes, up? Yes, it's gonna be five inches sitting down. So this really is gonna be taller than five inches because that was sitting down, and this is the height standing up. So it's gonna be what does that say? I have to read it the other way. Wrong way. Hold on. Um that bear is six and a half inches standing up six and a half inch uh stife teddy bear it's got tags hanging all over it um books and paperwork and all that that all goes with it tag and you go ahead and start the auction on it Luke. yeah there you go and we're running it so yeah no uh but lucas and josiah man these guys uh they both wrestled and and uh their whole lives and they 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 love to get out there and just get on the mats and go to town and judo and, and wrestling and grappling and haven't done it for a while i've been uh, when's the last time you, you when's the last time you and Joe really got out there and got, got probably a couple good, months? Couple months. So when he says not done for a little while, he means like two months ago, and not like years. It's just been a couple months. <laughs> but um, anyways, when you guys go, like you, you'll you'll try and get each other to submit, and uh, Lucas will come home and like my arm really hurts. I said, what happened? One time I, I wasn't going to tap. I'm not tapping out. <laughs> one time I came home and I had like all these. Oh, somebody won. Somebody Susie went, uh, Lane. Susie. Uh, Susie time. Lane won. Thank you so much. Price was fifty one dollars. Uh, blessing to you. Yep. Yeah, first, first time buyer. First time you. buyer. Yes. Thank you so much. So Lucas and uh, Josiah, they uh, they get at it really hard on the wrestling mat. Um, and Lucas came home one time. He was starting to here. Go ahead and pin this one. Get this one ready. This will be the next one that we sell while Lucas is getting it ready. I'll tell you the story. So Lucas comes home and he's got red marks on each side of his throat, like like this right here. If somebody was doing that to you. And I said, what happened? And then he goes, well, here, I'll show you. So he grabs my collars and like knocks me out in a few seconds. It's like three second knockout move that he learned how to do at judo. 
So, anyways, that's uh that was that was how Lucas got his marks too, right? No, that was actually, that was a different one. That was a it's called a triangle. He had his legs around my neck and was squeezing. Oh, that's not what you did to me. <laughs> no, that's just a collar too. That was a collar. I don't know okay. much about judo, but I know that I, that. Did you start this yet? No. All right, start the auction. This is the little one, guys. You see it. The measurements are there. It's cute as can be. Great condition. Uh, little little stiff here. This is this is a cool one. It's great. I haven't seen. It's great the only gray one we have, isn't it? Yeah. This kind of color, anyway. And it's got it's got all the movable joints and everything. Uh, cute piece. So I'm gonna put it up here so we can keep talking. Um, so the time you're talking about is when he had his legs around your neck and was trying to choke you out. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Okay. Well, that Lucas hurt. and Joe really get at it hard, man. These guys go like they're, uh, and then they get up and they like hug each other. Man, that was fun. I don't get it. I've never been that way, but <laughs> Lucas and Joe love it. So I feel pretty confident around these guys. I walk around, I feel like I got two bodyguards. <laughs> WGN, congratulations. $59 won the option. Um, okay, Luke, let's do a paperweight. We did not get this one listed ahead of time, but you can tell them about Joe St. Clair. This is a signed Joe St. Clair. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Signed Joe St. Clair, guys. Uh, paperweight. Uh, this one was the same showcase dealer that just moved into the heart of Ohio. It's shaped like a bell. And it's shaped like a bell. And we thought that's a cool piece. It's a bell shaped and it's signed Joe St. Clair. It's got the yellow, the yellow flowers at the bottom. A few little bubbles, uh, like intentional bubbles, I mean, uh, all the way around. And they got the white in the back. So you can see it. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this one. Joe St. Clair, his family from, where did they move from? Paris, wasn't it? Is that what they moved said? to uh, Indiana from Paris. And Joe is the most recent uh, person in the St. Clair family to be making art glass. He's He started in 1985, I believe. Maybe. Okay. I, I I don't know. He's like he's Bob's uh, nephew, I I. So if oh, I remember, they're not they're not dad and son, Bob and Joe. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, there's I didn't Bob, know Joe, and there's another guy, which I think is Joe's dad. I think he's his nephew. So is it Big Big Joe, Little Joe, and Bob? Maybe there's a. <laughs> to my, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it is signed. Here's the bottom. You can see the signature in there. Uh, maybe if I hold it right, I'm not holding it right, and so I'm gonna give up. Okay, Bloomin won the auction first time. Purchased from us. Thank you so much. Thirty one dollars. Bloomin won the auction. Um, well, Luke, someone will throw a piece of jewelry in. They'll go back to the sty if you keep mixing it up. Oh, yeah, we haven't done any jewelry yet. We have not done any jewelry, so let's do a piece. Now, do we have that ring holder thing? I don't. Oh, no. Mamo, do you have your ring hand? Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Mamo's going to hand us the here. Which one is your pinky? That? Oh, which one is that? I got uh, this is the one with uh, is that amethyst? No. Nope. The brown stuff. Look, Look at the back. Oh, I got the back. Number two. Number two. Piece of jewelry. This is sterling. It's gold washed. Um, it's got. Some enamel work, it looks like, on the sides. And then it's got a stone in the middle, like a topaz. Is that a topaz? Man, I really need to get better glasses. You got a white one? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, this is the ring. Lucas handpicked all of the rings in today's auction. Um, it, you probably can't see this on the film. Oh, yeah, you can. See all that, like, checker pattern underneath the enameling? That's kind of cool. That's, like, that's checkered with the enameling on it. Um, and then it's got the stone right in the middle. And so let's go ahead and sell that one, Luke. Yep, and the size go. is on there. This is a, what's the size? Size is seven, guys. The size seven is Mark 925. It's four and a half grams. Um, and this is the one that you're getting. If I hold that up behind it, it'll probably make a better picture. Probably. Yeah. You see, maybe. Gold, gold maybe. wash. Gold yeah. wash. Oops. Gold wash, sterling. Uh, the picture's on there yeah, for sure. Awesome. But anyways, um, that's the one you're getting. <laughs> So, what other stories you got about you and Joe fighting? Those are interesting. I think that are wrestling. They're not fighting. They're just wrestling. I tried to coach Lucas and Joe a little bit in wrestling, and uh, as they were growing up, fish fish bop you for, uh, won the auction. Joe. Was it first time middle Byron? school? I was like a volunteer coach there. I said I volunteered, helped him all those years. How much? Don't get any credit. Uh, it was uh, twenty five dollars. Yeah. Congratulations, congratulations, fish bop. Thank you for bidding. And I don't remember you ever being my official coach. Not officially. I was always the volunteer. Yeah, and he'd the go corner. up there and run us. Well, I, 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 did, I was conditioning coach. Just lay it down. And, and so I've been, I've been conditioning coach Lucas his whole life. I've always uh, – here. Okay, Luke, you got to help me with this. We'll get into that story in a second. So we're going to sell the uh, couple. And uh, they got they – got, with the couple comes the, uh, the uh, flowers. And then we also have – so another accessory with the couple are the rings. So there's two little rings on there. You have the flowers, and then you have uh, – you get one, I get one. Here we go. 
So which one goes with which? I get well, the she gets flowers. The flowers. Yeah, she gets the flowers. And he gets the ring. And he gets the ring. Yeah. And so that's what you're getting. Um, you're getting the, both both of them. They got little stands this that they're on. A top hat. Oh, a top hat. Where's the top hat? No, that's the big no, one that has the, the top one. hat. Oh, is it? Yeah, this guy doesn't. The big one does. Okay. These are like the flower girl and ring bear. Flower girl, flower girl and ring, ring bear. bear. Okay. Oh, oh, then that's the that's the the this others getting married. Wedding. This yeah. is the flower. Okay. That's the ones the couple getting married. And, and this is the. The flower, flower boy in the ring. ring. Okay. That's anyways, you're buying these two with accessories. Uh they came out of the house uh Friday night. Uh you can see them on our YouTube video when we picked them up. If you want to know where they came from, that's where they came from. And let's sell them. Yep, here we go. Start the auction. This is this guy's little mm -hmm. so you got the rings and the flowers. Uh cute, cute stife couple, guys. This used to be a basket. It used to be a basket. And she had it on her hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. You should try using a light box for stuff. Oh, well, we took all the pictures with the light Yeah, box. all the pictures are in a light box. Um, we're just doing live. Uh, so they can, can they still see yes, those they, pictures? They can still see them. Yeah, so the pictures we took, uh, the preloads are all in a light box. If you want to see the preloads, check them out. You can see them all lit up and fancy pictures. Um, and then we're just holding them up as we sell them. So uh, thank goodness Mammal is here. I agree, guys. <laughs> Without Mamma here, we would be in trouble. Nanny Poo 62 won the pair. Now, that was a great buy. $43 for the pair of those. Uh, man, that was an absolute bargain on some stife. Okay, Luke, uh, book. Can you get back to a book. Yeah. Where's the ring there? Uh, this Where's one here ring? says Mole Flanders by Daniel Defoe, International Library Collection. So, this is the next one of these books right here, guys. Uh, go ahead and run it as soon as you find it. And we're going to start the auction immediately on this and keep them all moving. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. It's running. I've never heard of Mole Flanders before. No? No. Mole Flanders. One of the classics I've never heard it's of. It's a classic. Nobody wants it. No, Joe will buy it. I don't know. Nah, I think he's just waiting. He wants to get in there at the end. Get ready to bid, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's the one that you're getting right here. Um, Joe should have came down and helped us run the auction. I guess he, then he couldn't buy it if he was down here. Yes, no, no. So anyway, I guess they don't want this book, Luke. Nobody's going to bid on this one. Three <laughs> seconds, two, one. Oh, there it went. One bid. Joe, Joe, was it Joe? No, it's the car. Uh, Joe didn't get in there. You didn't want to read that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> He already read it, maybe. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Uh, Don Carr won the auction. First time, uh, first time bidder. It was a yep, dollar? It was a dollar. That was a bargain. A dollar. So we are all over the board today. We got stuff from every direction. Um, you know what? I'm just going to sell the War and Peace book because I think this is the one that Joe really wanted. Yep, it is. So this is a great book, War and Peace, um, International Collector's Library uh, by Leo uh, Tolst Tolstoy. And this has got wonderful work on the inside, too. Look at this. It looks like if it has been read, it was very minimal. There's there's some etchings and stuff, uh, partially in some of it anyway. Um, and yeah, that's the one you're buying. Go ahead and start it. There you go. This is the one Josiah wanted. Yep, I see him bidding already. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, there's the backing, the binding of it, and then here's the front. A uh, really cool book, War and Peace. <laughs> So yeah, so we've been having uh, we've been having lots of fun. We've been we've been enjoying uh, adventuring around and sharing it with you guys. We love seeing all your comments on our YouTube uploads, and um, my my wife is actually I think starting to like to, to have some fun with it too. So at first, she, I think she was a little bit nervous about it, but uh, Sife Teddy Bear in a gown, five inches. Yeah, we can get that one. Um, we'll get that here in a second. Somebody said, go, Joe, go. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's a competitor. He's not going to back down. He don't like to lose. I think he backed down. Is he backing down? Uh-oh. Oh, there he Did he get in there again? He's in. He's in. How do you see who's in? Where did I read that? <laughs> Dude, you've been doing this for two months now. I know, but I can't. Okay, I'm going to put it this way. Oh, this little guy right here. But see how small that is, Luke? Yeah. I got to have a magnifying glass to read that. No, you're less blind than me. <laughs> yeah, but you, you've got prescription glasses. I got these dollar store readers here. Okay. And it's still going. It's still going. Uh, WGN is winning. That's who's winning currently uh, at $39. Thank you guys all for bidding on this. This is a fun book. Uh, and no, Joe, 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 did Joe go again? Yeah. Joe, good. Judo Joe was winning. No, WGN is winning. This is fun. <laughs> hey, I love it. Uh, they're both great readers. They're both good. I got stronger. I need to get stronger readers. That's for sure. Maybe it's time for prescription. I don't want to admit that I'm that old. You um, are that old. I know it. Glasses. I don't want to admit it. Like, like, I'm not 50 yet. I don't want to get like prescriptions until I'm 50. You're pretty much there. <laughs> no, I got a couple years left. So, 
Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is somebody hilarious. said, really? <laughs> Get it, Messiah? <laughs> he said, really? <laughs> he got back in. <laughs> he got back in. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, go, Joe, go. <laughs> go, Joe, go. <laughs> I like it, Jan. Don't don't take it off of Joe. Like, Don't let him beat you. It's okay. We're all having fun today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, oh, so go to the eye doctor, Jacob. You know, I went, I was, I was planning on going, this is about a year ago. Um, and I had, I, was, I mean, I do a lot of nonprofit work and I had something come up with one of our kids at the nonprofit right at the same time my appointment was supposed to start. And so I just abandoned the appointment and I just haven't went back. Uh, so WGN won the auction. Woo! <laughs> WGN got it. I got That's to text so uh, you, Messiah. You can just talk to him, Luke. You don't have to text him. He's watching. <laughs> Okay, the, the little one, I think somebody said yeah, run the little yeah. one, right? Is that what they said, the little guy? Uh, yeah, it was a little guy. Oh, yeah, they wanted to. Oh, please gift it to Josiah. Okay, how does the gift part work? I don't understand this. How do I gift it to Josiah? WGN. Like, no. <laughs> so Jan, WGN said gift it to Josiah. I want to do this. Somebody gifted Pat Ball something. And, and we, we forgot. sent it. We accidentally we shoved it. Yeah. It. <laughs> it got bad at us today <laughs> because I thought somebody gifted that to me. <laughs> Uh, just give it to him and bill me. Uh, I guess we can. I mean, Josiah would really appreciate it. All right. That. All right. We'll figure it out. We'll Don't let that book leave your site. Lucas. I will not. We're okay. not going to make that mistake again. You can put it in his inbox and send stickers or something to the person who purchased it. Well, he works here. <laughs> we don't have to. Well, we, we, we'll see Joe tomorrow morning. He'll be here at 730. That's yeah, so fun. That's very nice, WGN. WGN, thank you so much. That was awesome. We'll uh, make sure that gets to him. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's so sweet. Okay, guys, this is what you're buying here. You got the little teddy bear, um, and then it's got the gown. This is like a christening gown, um, and it's got the hat on the top. There you go. Just really cute. Uh, go ahead and start that one. That is so there awesome. There you go. Mail her something. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Yeah, that's Jan. really. That's so cool of her. Skiing <laughs> and all. <laughs> he needs to read more and ski less. <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's probably better at reading than skiing, but he's getting better. Now, honestly, Joe had a blast over there. Uh, I was so glad that Joe was able to go with us. And uh, when he wiped out, that was so epic. And Lucas laughed, and then they brought that video to me and showed me, and I could not quit laughing. Uh, but Joe takes it all, uh, you know, good-hearted. Uh, Laura, Laura FW won the auction. Congratulations and thank you for forty-seven dollars. So uh, yeah, we love Joe, man. He's family. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everything, Joe. He jumped into business with us. Do they know that yet? Uh, yeah, if you guys don't know that, Joe is—he uh, had a career change. Like he said, "Okay, I'm all in with you guys." And uh, with the auction, this is number three on the jewelry with the auctions, and he's—he uh, started full time this week. So um, that's so cool. You have to ship something to Joe, so whatnot does not harp on you. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll we'll send him we'll send him something. We don't want to get in trouble with whatnot. We're just getting started with them. Uh, number three here. Uh, show them the oh, ring. The ring. The ring here. Number three ring. This is it. Uh, That's what we got here. This is like a mother of pearl on sterling. And they asked if Joe's going to auction school. I don't know. Uh, I think that he, him and Lucas are talking about going to gemology school together. I'm well, not I'm sure. I'm going to gemology school. Lucas is 100% going to gemology school, and he's going to see if Joe's going to go with him or not. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but we know this, that Joe said, yep, I want to jump in there with you guys and just uh, just go forward. So that's where we're at currently. Okay, let's yeah, let's put that like thanks that. Thanks to him. He pretty much put Oh, that yeah, and, and without Joe, we, we're having that second that second big grouping uh, is all Joe. So, yeah, that's really cool. I can't talk about that on here. I forgot. Um, <laughs> I'm getting in trouble. Yeah. Don't okay, worry. so don't we'll ignore that part. Okay, the Sterling and Mother of Pearl, uh, this ring right here, number three. Yep, there we go. One dollar. One dollar. Um do, 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 do. It's not Joe is him. the man. <laughs> Joe is the man. Hey, that person's name is She Shed Finds. <laughs> Mail him a band-aid and wrap with ski photos. <laughs> she shed That's actually the name, She Shed Finds? That's funny. That's so funny. Oh, Mamaw. There's a yeah, yeah, did you hear what he said? Yeah, that's, that's their cool. that's their name, She Shed Finds. That's so Mamaw cool. Mamaw's got like three she sheds full well, of finds. Two. Two. <laughs> yeah, two. three, don't you? Well, there's extra sheds, but they're <laughs> they're not oh I'm sorry. She's only got two she sheds, the rest are just sheds. Uh, but they're all full. And Mountain Life won that. Uh congratulations. Mountain Life won the auction. The price was $25. Thank you so much for bidding. Um, that was item number three on the jewelry. So, Very Luke, cool we got to sell one of these other ones up here. Let other me get one. Them. Let me get. I'm gonna get a plush bear. No, it's not a plush. This is a. This is like a mohair. This is big. 
Okay, you probably measured that sitting down too? Yes, I did. Okay, this is a big bear, guys. This is the Stife. That is 12 inches, so it's probably 15 or so. Um, Lucas has it as 11 and a half sitting down. Absolutely wonderful jointed uh, Stife bear. Uh, right out of the collection, it's got the tag, it's got the tag, and it's got a hanging tag down here. I like that. um, That's a he's cute. Man, that is a cute bear. I like the color. It's the only one we have this color. Yeah, I know. I like the face. He's got a cute I, face. His face is like, it's like a uh, yeah. little round. I don't know how to describe it. Oval, round. <laughs> yeah. That's called cute. It's, it's called, called cute. cute. Yeah, that's how you describe it. That's all you got to say. <laughs> okay. That's all right. All Go ahead and start it. Started the auction. We're, we're running the cute teddy bear. This is. Yeah, this is a cool color as well. I like the color. Nice sort of color. Here's the bag. Brown or beige brown? What is it? I don't know. Kind of dusty brown. Dusty, know, brown. dusty brown. I don't know. Cool brown. I don't know. <laughs> dusty brown. Mud brown. Man, Mud dusty brown. Dusty brown. Dirt brown. I think it's better than that, guys. Don't listen to me, Mama. She's going to tell you. The dark brown. The caramel brown. What kind of brown is this, guys? Mushroom color. <laughs> it does look like a mushroom color. A little bit. Uh, Carol 6620 won the auction. First time uh, Coco brown. He's like a, a tote. <laughs> $79. First time buyer. Congratulations and thank you. You, blessing to you, Carol's appreciate it so much. Uh, someone requested the bear and the gown. I think we sold that. Yep, oh, this is the, oh, the other one. I think that's the wedding. The wedding. <laughs> that's a yeah, is that a couple? Luke, no, or? that's a couple separate. Okay, so, hey, which one do you think will bring more? The bride or the groom? The you bride, one, the bride the is, of course, going to bring more than the groom. Uh, uh, the dapper here, here, here. Okay, here we go. Lucas, you get to hold the bride. Okay, well, so can we sell record. choice or not? Can we do no, that? We, we, don't, we, we can't, can't do that. No, there's pre bids on them. So. There's pre bids, so we can't sell choice. Okay, you're going to sell the bride first. So, Lucas's bride, uh, I think that the Dapper Dan guy is going to bring more. Um, but, Lucas, uh, you guys all seen the dimensions and all that. Um, we're not going to describe it anymore. Hey, and this one's actually while standing up. It's, so. it's while standing up, but look at that dress on there, though. That is cool. It's got the head. The, uh, the veil. The veil. Yeah, this is her dowry. Dowry. <laughs> However you say it. The dowry. Dowry. That's why I missed that one. Okay. Uh, Dusty Brown is the color of my furniture. Somebody <laughs> said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so I think her this dowry. is going to go more than the girl. Okay. So you think that this is going to bring more? I think that the boy teddy bear is going to bring more. We're going to see what happens. Start it off. Let's go. All right, here's a contest, guys. We're going to see which one does better. Guys, don't let me lose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lose to him. Yeah, he does all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it when he loses to me, though. <laughs> all right, so this is the one you're getting. This is a big teddy bear. It is a stife, guys. Uh, it's got the great gown on there. I mean, that's a gorgeous gown, all adjustable everywhere. The lace is in great shape, and it's got like a layer of, uh, what do you got? Silk. Silk down here. I don't know what that is. Oh. The lace dress yeah. and silk. Yeah. You got two guys up here talking about wedding dresses and nothing about a wedding dress. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> so we, we, we're selling this thing right here. Uh, she, she looks nervous. She, <laughs> That's because she be sat too. between us two. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Ma'am, I'll tell them. They say, oh, Nanny Poo won the auction. Okay, it was uh, $61. Okay, now, Luke. I think this one's going to do better. I'm Congratulations, just Nanny Poo. And Thank hey, you. Please thank don't you. let me. Oh, Danny Poo. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you. Blessings, Danny Poo. You've been awesome tonight. I guess we'll see. But now like check more. this out. This guy right here, right here is his hat. That is as dapper as you can get. I love this thing. This is the cutest, the cutest bear right here. We got to pull his britches back up. Hold on a second here. Let's get his britches put back where they're supposed to be. Uh, you got the whole outfit. Look at that tux, man. He's got the he's got the wings on the back. Check out the back. Uh, tails. The tails, yeah, the tails, not the wings. The the hat has got a little bit of a scuff on it, guys. Right, right up in that top corner. I want to make sure I point it out to you. Uh, so you got the hat like that, but I mean, the, overall, this thing's in really good condition. Um, right out of the collection, except for the hat, it's got a couple little things on it. But there you go, the Dapper Bear. Let's sell him. Yeah, they said that's me in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I, when I went to prom, Lucas, I wore a hat like that. Really. Yeah, that's I actually had an outfit about like that on, and I had a cane. <laughs> I did. I took a cane. I thought it was you cool. were like they said. So that looks like the penguin. You literally wore the penguin <laughs> walking around with a cane. <laughs> I, the penguin. I don't know if I was the penguin or not. I mean, come on. <laughs> that that guy is cool, man. He's a cool dude. Oh no, I'm losing my bet. Twenty seven. Oh a, yeah. That is a bargain, man. Hey, they know. That is great buy on this guy. He's he's not gonna quit. They're not gonna give up. He's oh. too cool. He's too cool. 
It kind of was cool. And this is the first time winning an item to go for the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's rooting for it not to bring anymore. I'm saying, no way. This thing is too cool. It's going to win. <laughs> it's going to win. We're right there, Luke. One more bid. What was it, 57? 63. Oh, no, I'm way behind then. Two seconds, one second, and – Woo! I lost, but Nanny Poo won them both, right? She got both. That's awesome. Yeah, Congrats, Nanny Poo. I'm glad you got that. That's a really cool piece. Uh, you're going to like that. All right, let's sell this porcelain real quick. What is it? Uh, the Scythe porcelain set? Oh, okay. The Kinder set. It's the Kinder set. So this is uh, in the box, never been out of the box. It's plastic wrap still. Uh, it's got all your miniature plates on the bottom. Here are your cups. It's got the teapot in the middle. It looks like a little miniature cream and sugar <laughs> here, cups on the side. So little Kinder Stife uh, set right here. And Lucas did win. Yeah, I did win. Lucas did Nanny win. Nanny Poo and me both won. And Nanny Poo won. Nanny Poo is the real winner. She got incredibly good buys on some Stife today. Uh, very, very good buys. All right, so here we go. You're getting this one right here. It is Stife. And let's sell it. Yeah, here we go. Starting the auction. Starting the auction. <laughs> I've noticed that these kids' sets, they do very well at auction. Yeah. Like, better than a normal porcelain set. How weird is that? Well, well, there's a lot of collectors for, like, miniatures and children's yeah, I stuff. I love oh, yeah. miniatures. Yeah, Mammal does collect <laughs> Mammal collects it. Yeah, Mammal is Mammal loves Yeah, for sure. Um, anyway, yeah, that's really cool. When we actually, you know that Stife in your in the house in your room, we actually bought it at the Stife factory. I know you did. Yeah, when we went there, we picked you guys up each a piece. What's the town called? It's, I think it's Gingen. Gingen? I think is how you say yeah, it. Yeah, it's spelled just that like, way. It's like Gingen. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, and we used to buy a lot of Stife in Germany and bring back and sell. I've, I've probably over the years. Oh, first, oh, it's time over. Buyer? first time buyer. I didn't get to read the name yet. Mom Hold Raz. on. Mom Raz won. Congratulations. $34. First time buyer. Uh, thank you so much. Um, okay, so. Thank you, Mom piece Raz. Of jewelry. Uh, what do we got? Let's get, let's get a big piece of jewelry out. Ooh, this is a uh, is that labradorite? Look, what are these blue stones called? Did you mark? Did you look? I have no idea. Oh, these are cool. There's a name for these. Um, all right, guys, what a wonderful bracelet! I'm gonna hold that up and show it to you. Number six on your sterling jewelry. This is uh, let's see here. He's got it. The one of these blue stones. Little... But the, these are absolutely stunning stones, guys. Uh, Larimer, that's it. Um, that's what they're called. Um, Larimer. Yes. Um, I don't know how you spell it correctly, but Larimer is what they're called. Uh, and those are absolutely stunning. He probably didn't even understand what he got. But one stone has got like a – I just saw pretty. It's got a – it's not even really chipped. I don't think – I don't know. It's got that little spot, little thing right there. You can barely see it. That's in the stone. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't disregard for it, but I want to point it out so you don't get it and say we didn't say something. Hey, you see, I don't even need to know the name of the stones to know good quality. Check out these fancy serial numbers. I'm not sure what that one meant. So anyways, uh, Mamal said put it on the other thing so, so it displays better. So we're going to give it to you one more look before we start the auction. So the ones that come up here, you don't read. Oh, we don't read the top ones? We don't read those ones. <laughs> those I'm are private trying. messages. Those are privates. Okay. I'm gonna, it's starting to warm up in here, Luke. I'm going to take I know. The off. heat's finally working. I took off my vest already. All right. So hold up hold up that item for him and let's, uh, let's, let's show him what we got. Here. Yeah. Should I start it? Uh, yeah. Let me get my jacket off. Whew. And this is adjustable. Look at the – if you look at oh, that, yeah. there's several inches of adjustment. So you can adjust that about an inch or so, inch and a half uh, on the back, the way that goes together. And Lucas picked this, guys. Uh, this is a, on, the, on all of our Monday night premieres, I'm having Lucas pick all the jewelry. Yeah, I go through the jewelry and pick out the prettiest one. He I thinks think. he picks the best of, of all of our silver we have. So that's what you're buying, a Lucas pick on the jewelry. Here I would go. actually buy this one if I had – Jump up there, Mammal. Here you go, Mammal. Show them what we got. And Lucas, start the auction. I started the I'll auction. I'll be right back. Here we go. Inclusion in stone. Oh, yeah. that There's a little tiny one right there. Uh, Good job. I Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I went through all the jewelry. It took me a long time to find the pieces I really liked. Um, if, Is that – what kind of pattern? Is that like a wind? Or, it looks like a little wind pattern there with flowers. All those metal things do. Lucas, great taste. Thank you very much. <laughs> they all like this one, too. Uh, That's pretty. It would look good on me. Well, I guess I, I guess I should have bid then. <laughs> Get in here, mammal. Oh, I'm fine. Um, getting the camera shot. And Kathy Ann, congratulations. Can you hold that for yes. a second, mammal? It sold for $56. Thank yep. you very much, Kathy Ann. Thank you. And I'm sure go. it's going to look beautiful on you. Kathy Ann. There we go. 
Congratulations, you got a very, very pretty bracelet. Yep. That's a great buy for 56. Congratulations, who got it? Kathy Ann. Kathy, congratulations, Kathy. That was a really cool piece. Okay, let's sell another bear. Uh, I'm going to keep that really big plush bear for last. That guy's huge. He's huge. So we're going to sell the this size bear. Uh, he was probably sitting down measurement, wasn't he? Yep. So let's see what he is standing up. He's about a 13-inch bear. He's got the tag in the corner. Uh, he's got a hunchback uh -huh. on the back right here. So you can see the hunchback. All jointed, mohair, uh, just fun. Got felt pads up here. You can see the little claws on him. Cool bear. That's the one you're getting. And he is, he's got a bunch of cuteness on him. So that's the next one we're getting, Luke. You got it? Found it on there? A bunch of cuteness. Go ahead and pin it. Start it as soon as you get it pinned, and we'll start oh, the auction. Start it now. There we go. So it's, it's 9.06. So we've been about an hour. Hour and right six now. And how many we got left? About 10 items, maybe? Uh, okay, guys. I'm going to bust out some stuff that's un, um, not listed. We have 11 items left. We've got 11 items left. So I feel like we've got enough time where we can go for until at least uh, we're going to get these bags of jewelry. But then I, if you guys want to bid on some Fenton, uh, I'm going to go upstairs and grab that box from today's estate. Well, if you want to bid on Fenton, just stick around, I guess. Stick around. So I'm going to I'm gonna sell at least a few pieces of Fenton. If you guys are bidding and enjoying it, we might sell a bunch. Oh, uh, and Queen, Queen Bees. Bees. Queen Bees won the Stife Bear. Uh, congratulations, and it was $43. Another great buy on a Stife. Um, okay, so we sold this piece. This was out of that mansion, wasn't it, Luke? Uh, the Hutch and Ruther? Uh, there was an issue with yep, payment on this one, so we're wait, just going to resell it. I have to be able to find this one. Oh, let's see I'm if we can sure find it first. Uh, buy now. Maybe we don't. Maybe I can't get it. Oh, I can't sell that one, I guess. Is that it right there? Oh, no, that's the stuffed penguin we got up top, isn't it? Yep. We're going to sell the stuffed stife animal up top instead of this one. Yeah, I'm not sure how to move items from our buy now page to an auction. So. All right, we'll do that for a different auction then. Uh, let's yeah, go I ahead have and to figure that out. You say the stife penguin? Well, we have the. Uh, let's the stife penguin jewelry. has hold a $47 pre-bid. Hold on, hold on. Before we do that, let's let's let me get these little pieces of jewelry sold. They said um, I need to re-register it. Yep. Okay. I did not do that, so. I have to do camera turned at an angle. Um, okay, lot, the angle and the ring, I'm sorry. Let's sell, let's sell number eight on your jewelry list. This is a butterfly pendant. It's sterling and it's got like an emerald color uh, stones in it with clear stones in the middle. Uh, I don't know what the stones are made of. We are not gemologists yet. Lucas is not trained. Bag number that is? But it is all sterling. Uh, bags in my hand. Number eight. Eight? Yep, bag number eight. Uh, look at that thing, guys. It is so cute. Uh, will it focus? I hope it's focusing. Yeah, he's uh, good on you can see the. It looks good on. It looks good and, on his. Oh, uh, okay. there's pictures. There's pictures of that. Uh, I don't have a loop, but it looks like an Italian piece. Is that what does that say? Can you read it? <coughs> it looks Italian. Uh, I don't see it. Italian. Don't see anything. Okay. Well, anyways, it's just we know it's sterling. It is marked nine two five. It's got the butterfly and it's a uh, green uh, and it's a necklace. So let's sell it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Eighteen inches on that one. Eighteen inches. There we go. And that's the one we're selling next. It's a really cool piece. Look at the, the butterfly. That's why I picked it, the butterfly. Um, you can go to the item to buy it now and then hit edit. Yeah, we'll do that uh, after we sell all the pre-uploads. Okay, we'll get all the pre-uploads done. Yeah, grandma's, I'm to figure out while or grandma's where I'm from, how do you correctly spell mammal? Mammal, how do we spell mammal? <laughs> M-A. I don't know that we've ever had an official spelling. <laughs> I always spell it. Whenever I write her a Christmas card from the kids, it was always M-A-M-A-W. So mammal, M-A-M-A-W. That's um, how I say it. M A M A W. M A M A W. M A M A W. Not W W F or W W E. <laughs> Mammal. Okay, we got Mountain. Mountain Life won that one. Twenty six dollars. Uh, you got that one. Mammal. I got it right here. Congratulations, Mountain Life. Okay, so let's. Uh, okay, now this this is Very I think uh, possibly our our best piece of jewelry right here. Um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This would be a highlight, uh, a number one item in any of our auctions. Lot number one on your list. Is that bag one? Yeah. yeah, this is stunning colors, guys. Um, let me see here. Background, I don't know. You guys can see it. Uh, maybe, maybe it would be better like that. I'm not sure. This ring is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Mamo, I've been spelling it correctly. That is so cool. Your buy it now is empty, Luke. Oh, that's probably just for this sale. Because uh, I didn't put the buy it now for this sale, so it's all messed up. So anyways, this thing right here is a gorgeous ring. It's got the big blue stone in the middle, and then it's got, I don't know, maybe 20 or 25 or so smaller stones all the way around it. It is sterling with a gold wash over it. 
Um, what's the marking say on this one? Probably just 925 and something. Okay, it probably says 925. You always make sure you push that on there. I did. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, did I really forget that? You forgot. That's okay. Uh, anyways, this is the one you want to look real quick. I can. Read what the inside says. He's got better eyes than me by far. I see a 925 mark right there, and then there's a company on the other side. Okay, so 925 mark, and then it's got a company on the other side. Throw it back on here, then. Let's go with it. Yeah, I can't read the other side. <laughs> okay, and so I'm going to put it on black this time just so you get a different perspective. Yeah, it definitely says it. I don't know what you're looking at. Well, it says sterling gold ring with blue stone and white stones. And mark 925, size oh. 6, 5.2 grams. That's not on mine. Well, yours is wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to sell it. Let's sell it. Yep, here it's a go. gorgeous ring, guys. What size is it? Start the option. It's size six. A size six. It's size six, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous ring. I'll hold it up there if I can be steady enough. Yeah, see, you can, when you hold it like that, you can see the blue. Yeah, that blue is just absolutely beautiful, guys. I love the blue in this. Blue is my favorite color, and that's probably why I like the ring so much. How is it your favorite color? It's always been my favorite yeah, color. Yeah, but you won't drink a blue drink? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like drinking blue drinks. I can't do it. I love blue, but I can't drink. When we, we, we drink those Celsius energy drinks when we're doing our, our regular auctions. And uh, Okay, who got this? Trixie Bell won the auction. $46. First time buyer. First -time buyer. Congratulations. How much? Thank you for being here. Uh, do you have the big, the bag, Luke? No, you have one. Is that one? Yep. Uh, anyway, so um, they, they always come in these flavored packs where you get these different flavors. And what flavor do I always want? You always get orange because of the color. I don't, I just can't drink the blue looking drink. It doesn't, it's like Kool Aid or something. I don't know. I just, I don't want to drink it. That is such an odd. But thing. I love drinking the orange drinks. It's probably all chemically made anyway. So probably. I remember your, when I grew up, your favorite Gatorade was always orange. And now I know why. And yeah. red, orange and red. But I can't drink the red. I don't like the red anymore. <laughs> It does something to me. Blue food fun. is bad, they say. Blue food is bad. I agree. Don't don't eat blue food. Don't drink blue drinks. Um, Rick okay. Rack, even if you live close, we still have to ship it to you according to whatnot. So our rules say we have to ship everything. Um, and it's all part of it. And they're working on a pickup option, but they currently don't have it. But they said they were gonna get it done soon. And once they do that, we'll be able to uh not have to ship anything. You guys can just pick it up from us. So uh what bag is this? Uh, bag number seven is this one right here. Uh, red 40 is bad. Yeah, I think something like that. That's why I stopped drinking all the red. But I do love blueberries. Now, I'll, now I will uh, have like a banana blueberry uh, milkshake Even mixed if it's thing. Blue color? If it comes out blue or purple, usually it's not like a blue. It usually comes out like a you know a mixed purple red kind of color. Uh, can you see the details on that? Because that's a beautiful well, piece. Well, uh, you can click on the bottom and look at the picture you can, if you can't. Yeah, if you can't see that, I'm going to. Turn that up a little bit, guys. That's a gorgeous re uh, necklace again. This is 18 inch sterling with pendant. Uh, let's go ahead and start that while we're auctioning or yep. we're talking here. Here we go. It's got the big stone in the middle, and there's like a, got like this swirl going around. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a swirl. Uh, the way that the setting is. Um, yeah, there you go. You got a little angle there. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Kind of. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful, guys. They said um, blueberries are not blue. Huh? <laughs> My blueberries are blue. Well, when you mix them up in like the like the when I put them oh, in like a food, yeah, it turns red. out like a reddish color. Yeah, okay. They they kind of come out. You had that me kind very confused for a second. Blue tortilla chips. Oh, those are yeah. Good. I, I actually like do eat blue tortilla chips. That's a good call, Jan. Uh, oh, somebody won. Mips uh, Mips me. Uh, I don't know if I said that right. M P, M -P is me. M P is me. M P is me. Congratulations! Okay. Congratulations! First time, First time buyer for uh, fifty one dollars got that necklace. Uh, I want to finish these pieces of jewelry that we have, and then we're going to sell those. Last, a few pieces of stife, and then we're going to go with some uncatalogued stuff that's going to be really fun. So this is going to be lot number five. Now, if you're into big, uh, showy rings, this is you. Is this? The purple one. The amethyst. Yeah, the big amethyst. Man, and look at the style and design in this ring. This is a, a really neat piece. Lucas handpicked it. Um, so all of our jewelry we get, most of it, it comes, a, not most of it, a lot of it comes. I'm going to say 65%, and I guess that's most, comes from South Florida. Uh, West Palm to Fort Lauderdale area, and they we, we work with a lot of jewelers down there and people that, that work with the estates, and they get us jewelry. We've been working for years with these guys, so we get a lot of really great jewelry, um, and, and that's why we get so much jewelry all the time. Uh, this is a piece that's sterling, uh, amethyst in the middle, and it's fun. I'm going to show you the back because I, I just like how this is made. Kind of designer piece, and it's got on the edge, even on the side of the stone, of the, of the mounting there, you can see the work. Let me see. Uh, what you looking for? Something to kind of cover that up so they can see that better. <laughs> Use your phone. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. there we go. That looks better. Look at that. Nice Mammals so. trick. All right. I like that. So that's what you're getting. Uh, all right. Here we go. Sell it. Uh, size is 6.5. Size is six and a half. <laughs> that's a funny comment. That but is we funny. Did, I believe we have one size. Do we have a big deal. a big ring today? Yeah, we already we might have already sold it. I forget. Oh, we got another fine. ring left here. It might be it. Oh yeah, we got a big ring coming up. We have a big one coming up. All right, so this ring here is the one we're selling. Then I'm gonna sell you the big ring. I have big fingers too. I've got big fingers. It's hard for me to get a ring on my fingers. I know that. I, I think mine are like size nine and a half, ten ish. Yours are? Yeah. Okay. Cabochon. Yes, that is a cabochon. Am amethyst cabochon. Absolutely stunning. Oh, it's, it's still amethyst. Though, Try right? wearing a five and a half. Ooh, I guess if you're really tiny, that'd be tough too, huh? <laughs> yeah. So you want to be average in the hand size. That probably would be good, I guess. <laughs> and? Uh, in her, her, her in, oh, uh, what did I say? And in her slow. In her slow. In her oh. In her speed. In her, <laughs> in her <laughs> How much? Dude, I got to get prescriptions. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. $61. $61. And, was that a first? I don't think it was a first time buyer. I If, if you are a first time buyer tonight and we didn't say it, we apologize. Um, but congratulations there is no excuse, on the very No excuse very for our lack of um, I don't know how we missed here. a big yellow thing. How, like, what yellow thing? Like when it pops up, it's always big oh. and yellow and we always somehow miss it. Is that four? This is four. Okay. So we're going to sell this ring. Now that's that stone is a black stone, right? Uh, I call it black onyx. And it's got marcasites all the way around. It's like a big black onyx with marcasites all the way around. And I'm going to do the old phone trick again. Hold it up like that so you can get good detailing. Um, that's the one that you're buying. Yeah, look at that ring. That's a gorgeous this ring. Is, and what's the size? Uh, 6.5. Oh, I thought you said it was a, not a big one. I thought we had a big one. That's not a big one. That's no, a, well, it's a not. decent size, but six and a half. That's when you're getting. Sell it. Okay, here we go. I mean, I might have to go find a big seconds. ring to help somebody out tonight. Who knows? We might get there. We're going to sell. We're feeling. Are you feeling good? Yeah. I feel yeah. Good. I mean, I feel like we need to sell for a while. We, uh, we, we're jet lag is kindly finally getting over, um, back, getting back into gear again. And we got to get ready to do this all night sale. Yeah, this is practice. This is a practice day again. Like this is the you know, the evening. You know when you're working out, how you do like different parts of your race. Sure. So yeah. you do like your you know the the first hundred and then the, you got the corners you work on. Like <laughs> yep. We're just working on that second that second uh, four hundred right here. So we're the working on a segment. Yeah, we're working on the segment, the nine o'clock to, to or eight o'clock to midnight segment right and now. And C bus Lauren won. C bus Lauren won. Congratulations, and that was a forty two dollars. Congratulations. Everybody's getting good buys there, today. There's some great buys today. That's awesome, though. Uh, number 10. Number 10 on your – this is a gorgeous necklace. I know. Was I, this, I saw the clarity on it. Man, actually. look how beautiful of silver this is. Do we have a necklace holder there? I put it well, down, didn't I? Here we go. Let is me it a spiral? Yeah, it's a spiral. Oops. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is what it is. That is stunning sterling necklace. Uh, let's go ahead and just tag it and run it as fast as you can. <laughs> and it, it is a spiral. 18 inch. Uh, there's some pre-bids on it, but we're going to sell it. Let's go with there it. There we go. It's selling right now. That is a gorgeous necklace. Here's the clasp. I'll show you a picture of the clasp on the back. Um, there you go. It's got a nice fancy clasp. Did you read, didn't happen to read anything else on there on the clasp? Uh, 925 Italy. Italy. 925 Italy. So it is Italian. I thought it might've been, it looked like it was Italian. Where's Valentine's Day gift coming up. That's for sure. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Is it down here? Uh-oh. You got it all right, Mamaw? Mamaw is just a trooper. She's down here working and helping out. She's been here. What time did you get here this morning? 8.30. Mamaw <laughs> showed up at work 8.30 this morning, and she's and still Queen going bees. hard. Queen bees. Oh. Queen bees got that one. Uh, it was $51, and congratulations. Congratulations. It had a little tiny bag. <laughs> think that's the wrong bag? Remember, has it, there's a ton of paperwork. Oh, let me see. Six. Six, 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 but I don't think that was it. Rumor has it there's a ton of paperwork. If you want to go for the world record, a sleep over the heart would be See, a blast. He's not doing any paperwork, and I'm not going to do the paperwork. And Kate already said she's not doing the so paperwork. So what, what we are thinking is that um, we're going to break it twice. Uh, what? Once is like just we're just going to go do it for the fun of it. And then after we do it one time, then we're going to go back and say, okay, let's go. Uh, let's get all the, the cameras and the, the Guinness people and all that kind of stuff and then do it again. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but if you're going to break it, you might as well break it twice. I guess so. And what we got now? Okay, Another this looks one. like a turquoise. Yeah, that's turquoise in the middle of that one, Lucas. This is gorgeous. What's on the, the next bag necklace. Number? Uh, bag number nine, is it? Okay, yeah. Look at that sterling and turquoise necklace, guys. Absolutely stunning. 
It's all your Gina's saying no, 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 and no. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. I, Gina, I told you we will help with the shipping. I'll at least get, you know, five or ten items boxed up for you. <laughs> oh my no, I'm just joking. You know we do more than that. <clears throat> um, okay, so I'm we'll, we'll figure help. the shipping out. <laughs> Mamaw said she would help. Um, Kate said that she would help. We'll have a lot of help with shipping. You tell them, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset, too. I'm upset, too. <laughs> That's funny. All right, did you start this yet? Start the auction. Let's get the auction Sorry, moving here. in the comments. Everybody's funny in chat today. <laughs> Ooh, I had to sneeze. Sorry. Bless you. Oh, the suit type. Je Lucas. You that's don't oh, here, you hold that. To yourself. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze three times. Always do. He always sneezes three times, I guess. <laughs> Let me get in here. Hello, everyone. Show the back. Uh, that's what the back looks like. There's probably a 925 mark back there. Uh, let me check. Oh, there's a sterling mark. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it on here, but there is indeed a sterling mark. Okay. But that's just the back. Here's the front. And Bethness won. Congratulations. All right. Congrats, Bethness. $41. Bethness was the winner. I got my sneezes out of the way. Sorry about that. Anybody that heard that, apologize up front or behind, I guess. It didn't happen up front. Uh, okay. Stipes, we got. Is it got all the jewelry sold? No, there's one more ring. We have. No, we don't. Oh, that's the that's the not uploaded ring. Oh, so we can't sell that ring. Not yet. Okay, so that rings to the side. Uh, okay, let's do. We have three Stipes left. Did you save the best three for last? I did. On purpose? Yes. Okay. This I'm is a this is that. a crazy good good Stipes. Now I love the humpbacks. Look at that one. Massive old humpback on it. It's big. It's a mohair. Uh, okay, so here's the size, guys. This is a ruler, a 12-inch ruler. So that bears like 14 inches or so. Uh, look at the size of the nose, even. Like this is from front to back. It's the wrong way. <laughs> Let me go this way. I'm going to read it. It says it's approximately like that's six inches from there to there. It's a big stipe. It's got big paws. He's fun. Very traditional mohair. Um, what you looking for? Oh, a growler? Yeah, was there one in there? Uh, I don't know what. Oh, no, I don't think so. No growler. Yeah. Oh, I hear it's it. got a growler in it, guys. <laughs> it, that's cool, though. The growl, it's got a growler on the inside. You can hear it. Uh, the growler is in there. So um, get ready to bed. Nanny Poo, he looks upset. He's, he does look upset. He's like, man, he's growling. He looks very he's, growling. he's got a growler in there. Uh, go ahead and start the auction. This is a great side, guys. I saved the last three. I thought were the best three for last. This is a great teddy bear. It's got the growler. He's in great condition. He's big. Uh, I love his face. He's like, bring it on. I got this. He's like Lucas and Joe when they're ready to wrestle. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mamaw, Mamaw, you all right? Yes. Mamaw is just laughing at us over here. She's thinking, up. what did I do to deserve this? Come on. Get, get, get back in here and say hi, Mamaw. Come on back here. Oh, People want to see you. They want to see they Mamaw. There's they Mamaw. She's been laughing. He's saying, help. Uh, Mamaw's been laughing at us all night. I, are you okay? Yeah. Mamaw did an awesome job. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Look at that. Hillbilly Hound won the auction, $69, and that's a touchdown. Good job. Uh, that was a great buy. Okay. Uh, total respect for Mamaw, man. She, she, is, uh, she is awesome. Um, I don't Kung, know what he's doing. Kung Fu Poo. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Incredible name. Okay, here we go. Let's go with the uh, – which one, Luke? Which one do you think is going to bring more? Penguin for last. Penguin has a higher premium. Okay. I, Wait, no, 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 no. The big guy has a $53 premium, while the penguin has a $47. Look how big this thing is. Do, this is do the penguin first. Massive bear. Penguin first. Let's sell this one first. Oh. All right, we're going to do this one first. We're going to do this one first. It is cut. Lucas should like this because it's cuddly. He, yeah, I like that one. He likes this one a lot. This is I got to back up so you can see it all on the screen. Uh, guys, that's that's how big this one is. It's massive. Like right. 12 the inch. Right there's the yeah. ruler. So it's uh 12. It's right at 24 inches, guys. That is a massive teddy bear. Yeah, and this one's got a name. happy one. This says Molly. It's got the ribbon on it. It's got the paper tag. There's a tag coming off the foot down there. Uh, it's been well loved, well well taken care of, um, and you're getting the Molly, the Molly, the Molly. It, it, what is isn't that on a movie, the Molly or something? I forget. Uh, that's a name for a drug. Oh, that, never mind. That, that's why I seen on <laughs> a movie. Never mind. You're getting the teddy bear. That's it. Nothing else. Close your ears and eyes. Anything bad you heard tonight? We're sorry. <laughs> he is huge. 
uh, yeah, need uh, need, need the yardstick. Yard <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy is like, take me home. I'm a I'm a big one right here. He's WGN says you're right, Luke. I'm That's going to start this auction. Start the auction, uh, <laughs> Lucas. They're laughing. They're laughing at me. I don't know. He's a loving bear. He, Look at it. his mouth. Oh, give oh, Lucas oh. a hug. Look at that. It's big enough to give Lucas a hug, guys. <laughs> he tickles. <laughs> he tickles. <laughs> uh, this is the one you're getting. It's a big old bear. Yeah. Grandma, what do you think? I think it's cute. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. He's one of those lovable bears. Yeah, he's one. Like, he's ginormous. Bigger than my dog. You can put him on your shoulder. Like, this guy's big enough. <laughs> do you remember that, Luke, when I used to put you up yes, on my shoulder? Yes, I remember that. <laughs> You do? Yes, For real? I, do. I used to throw Lucas up here and carry him around constantly. I always like would grab your head. Yeah, you would just hold on to my head. Wait, somebody won the auction. Uh, the auction's oh. over. I'm sorry. $85. Uh, Carol, Carol's. Yes, congratulations. Uh, great buy. $85. That was really good buy. Um, all right, here we go. We have a flying penguin. Uh, <laughs> this one just did. Flew off the shelf and grabbed me. Okay, guys, this is just all cute. What do you say? Straight out of the house, um, out of the we took it literally out of the box on the video. You seen how we seen them for the first time. Last one and it is plush and it's a penguin and it's really cool. Tag right here on the flipper. Got a tag underneath and it says original stife. Uh, nothing else on it there. I don't see any other tags or papers. Oh, he's uh. Oh wait, that's not a name tag, is it? Nope. Okay. So. Here we go. All right, this is our last stife. This is our last right? preloaded item. All right, and this is our last preload. Then we're going unloaded. Is that how you say that. it? Here <laughs> we go. $47 and starting. <laughs> that's the best. That's probably not a good one. What do you call that when you don't have a preload and you sell an item? I don't know. Look at Freight that. Lance. That looks kind of funny on your screen. What are you talking about? It's, it's too much bigger over there on, your, on yours. I got that little phone I'm looking I'm at. I'm telling We'll get you one of these Yeah. Eventually. Well, so when we move out to our, our uh, the heart and do our whatnots, I, Lucas said he's going to get me a great big old TV to look at you guys from so I can read these comments easier. <laughs> yes, please. So, uh, Queen Bees, Bees 3 won the auction. Congratulations. Definitely appropriate weather for a penguin. That is hilarious. <laughs> I think that is so true. It is Rouge. very cold. They got rouge going on here. What does that mean? What does that mean? What's the the, they, they must need, think I need a bottle of red. Rouge, 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 rouge. How much was it? Uh, how much was that? Wait. I didn't say the price. $86. Congratulations to uh, Queen Bees. Uh, thank you for bidding. Rouge. Who's rouge? Typo. Says rouge. Rogue. Rouge. Rogue. 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 Going rogue. Going rogue. Oh, rogue. <laughs> That's what you mean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now I see. I thought you were trying to get me to drink a bottle of rouge, a local rouge in France or something there. I wasn't sure what was happening. I wasn't going to complain. Okay, guys. So uh, I literally just unboxed these boxes. These were mailed to me from my friend in South Florida. Don't that, touch that black box. Um, this is going to be bag number one. So Lucas is going to pin this. Uh, so I just literally opened up the United States Postal Service box. Can you weigh it? Um, weigh it. Yeah, I got the scale right here. I'll weigh it for you. And so we're gonna we're gonna go uh, and sell a credible bag of jewelry. Uh, it's a heavy bag, Luke. This is almost seven wow. pounds. Wow, seven pound bag. Seven pound bag of jewelry that was mailed to me from Fort Lauderdale. And I want to. There's definitely gonna be glowies in there. Me and I said, show them the glowies. Oh, look at that right there. That's popping. Uh huh. There is some glowies in there. Um, oh, look at that down there. Whatever that bottom is right there, that's really popping. This bag is massive, though, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, I missed what Janet's comment is. They're all they're all uh, laughing now. I'm uh -oh, not sure I what happened. You gotta back that up and find a comment. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it. I'll okay, but this. look look. At, I'm gonna show you what we got here. Why Lucas is looking. This bag has got. I, I know there's more than 100 pieces in this bag. Uh, there is a ton, a ton, a ton. This is a heavy bag. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> they said they have nice big TVs for you in the sale. <laughs> What you look at, Papa? That's heavy. What are you trying to find, Papa? Oh, you don't need a box for these. We'll get them later. Yeah, we'll get them. Yeah, we'll just lay them, up, lay them in order on that black table over there. We'll, we'll box we'll them up it. on the way out the door. So we'll have more stuff that's not not going to be cataloged. Come on back here, Papa. Papa's going to join the show, guys. Uh, he's been back there watching from his phone. But this is the first bag. There's a lot of stuff. Um, he's been marking, working hard. How many bags? Probably five. Uh, there's two, there's only, there's not a bunch. There's uh, six, maybe six or eight bags. Whatever's in these two boxes from, um, I'm just opening them up. So whatever, whatever is there is what we're going to sell. So battle says, probably six. Should I start it? I would do, uh, yeah, we got to put a number for your bags or something. Yeah, I already numbered it. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sell it. Yeah, here we go. So this is a ton of jewelry, guys. And there's bracelets in there. There's necklaces. There's glowies. Uh, and there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I'm sure you're showing it. Oh, I got to show the camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> This is a heavy bag. Sometimes these bags aren't as heavy. Like sometimes there'll be a three pound bag or something. Uh, look at that it's pin a, right here. Okay. A That's a bag. gorgeous pin right here in the corner. Pink, a vintage pink um, up in the corner. It's like a Coro style piece up there. It's about six and a half pounds. Six and a half pounds. Look at this blue one right here. Big old blue piece. There's blows. a queen. It says queen there. Um, oh, got a pin sticking outside. Kind of went in my hand. Now, DNA. Watch out, quiet. <laughs> uh, okay. It's sold. Uh, Sheely. Shelly? Shelly. Shelly. Uh, yes, thank awesome. you so much. Congratulations. First time uh, buyer. $89 on the first bag. Okay. First time buyer. Thank you. Give me a bag. Anyone you want. This is going to be bag number two. Wow. The bangles in that. <laughs> wow, guys. Bag number two. Okay. Man, that's got. Look at the bangle right here. Uh, let's get a marker on this one. Bag number two, Luke. Uh, well, I'm showing this to you. I got to show you the glowy. See, I got to look one time. Let me look. That's crazy. It's definitely got some glowies in here. This is wild how something like that lights up when you just hit it. Uh, not a ton of glowies. There's a few pieces that are. Uh, shipping profile. Shipping profile. Heavy. And can you write a two on it? Okay, hold on. One thing at a time. Goodbye. Yeah, congratulations six and on a the half. first time by. Six and a half. Yep, six, six and, and a half, half pounds on this one, guys. Um, here, so this one right here says Angel of God, my guardian on the side. There's, look at the big bag. pink bracelet. Lucas is writing on it. There's a big orange feathery thing. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's tons of bracelets. Lots and lots. of really that big gold tone piece right here. Oh, that looks like a gold filled piece or something. We had a necklace like that in an auction last week by itself bring 40 bucks. Um, anyways, you're getting all of this. Is that the brass one? Is it brass? Yeah, that was brass. Yeah. Like a gold field or a brass one. I'm not sure which. I didn't get it out. I haven't seen this stuff till just now. Look Are at we the, about out of bags of jewelry? My friend from Florida is coming tomorrow that I get them all from. He called me when I, we were at that estate earlier and said, hey, I'm coming tomorrow. I've got a pickup truck with jewelry and good smalls. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how many bags he's going to have, but uh, th this is from him. He mailed me these. He always mails me what he says are the better bags. Um, and then he's, he was going to mail them. And he said, you know what? I got to see my granddaughter in Illinois. So I'm going to drive up and then drive to Illinois. Uh, look at that Christmas tree or some kind of tree over there. Uh, so that's where this bag is from, guys. Uh, I have not opened this bag. I have never seen this bag until right before the auction. I popped the top on the United States Postal Service bag box. Uh, and we're selling it right now. And so it's an unsorted bag. Look at the lady right there. Lady pin. That's kind of fun. You see her sticking out. I mean, there's a lot. I'm going to go really slow. Go ahead and start the auction. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here it goes, guys. This is the bag. It is full in it. What did I say? Six and a half pounds. Six and a half pounds. Right at six and a half pounds of jewelry. Unsorted. There's bangle bracelets. There's all kinds of stuff. There's earrings. There's pins. Um, he said that's Bella from Beauty and the Beast, probably. Bella from Beauty and the Beast. Now, look, look at the top here. Here's a crown pin at the very top. So when I say I haven't went through it, there, there's a cool little crown pin right there. Um, I have not went through it. So there was a lady um, that bought – more than one person has bought some of this stuff. And and uh, they. I'm just going to say it this way. They have been – some some people get some, and they're like, man, that wasn't as good. There, some right there. On, somebody found 10 karat gold in the bag they bought from us. I, when I say I haven't gone through it, I literally haven't gone through it. Um, and Shelly bought another one. Shelly bought that one. I'm, I'm glad you got a great buy. People don't believe that about me, but I am serious. I want everybody that buys from us to make money. Um, we are wholesalers. How much would it go for? I wholesale all the time. I love it when people make money off of us. Um, because you come back. It's the best advertising I can get 92. when, oh, so when I, I get a customer us. that says, oh, Raid, who got a Raid? Was, Pick oh, a road. Oh, Congratulations. Or thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> He's in the selling mode. I'm sorry. I'm selling guys. right now. Thank you for raid the raid. Uh, Pick a road. We are glad you're here, guys. We're having fun right now. We are we are off of our uh, preloads and we're just selling randomly. Uh, let me weigh this one. We're gonna sell another big bag of jewelry. Um. Okay, this one here, Lucas. These are all right at six and a half. Six and a half pounds on this one is the actual. Oh, that's a big one. Look at this, guys. Look at that big old uh, brassy oh. gold filled looking thing down here. These are rhinestones up here. I don't know what that is, but it's in the bag. Uh, there's bangles. 
There's all this stuff, these beaded pieces through here. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the yellow beaded um, <laughs> collar necklace or something here. Oh, wow, I think that's it's huge. Yeah. Um, okay, that at the bottom has got a heart. Uh, oh, it's got a, like a turquoise on the back side, uh, a heart turquoise on the back side. Oh, so welcome, Raiders, guys. We are so thankful that you're here, and we appreciate it. And this next next bag uh, starts – oh, there's a lot of glowies. Look at that. We got the black light out. That's definitely glowies. Let's, uh, here you go. Let's go like that. See the glows down there? Do a quick glow run. Um, there's some really – There's some glowies on that side. There's some right there. Back. Yeah, so we do have some glowies on that. I turned the light off just for a second so you can see it. Start the bag. Bag. Yep. yep, and we're running it right now, and it weighs right at six and a half That's pounds. All jewelry, unsorted. Um, so somebody, somebody said, uh, made a comment. I don't know, a while back. There's a crucifix up here. It looks like a, yeah, definitely a crucifix. Uh, somebody made a comment about you guys shouldn't mislead people about your jewelry, and I'm like, I'm not misleading anyone. Like we literally, um, at one time, I probably had. Uh, 600 bags like this and we, we just wholesale them out and let people uh, then sort them and process them and, and sell them separately. We challenged Lucas to do this one time and you bought a bag from the antique center that we had out there yeah. and then, you, and then we sold, sold it for like four times, the four times the amount of money. So I, I know these are good buys. And so no, if, I, I if you're an unlucky them. person that gets a bad bag every once in a while, I do apologize because um, I don't sort through them. But what I am going to say is if that ever happens and you like me and I just really got a really bad bite, just give me a shout. We'll, we'll figure something out. Um, make it right with you. So is somebody one? Who is it? So uh, who did it say? Um, MP is me. MP is me. Congratulations. $81 on that bag. And guys, these are the big ones from Florida. These aren't the ones that are from Ohio. These are straight from Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for bidding, MP. All right. Well, the next bag. I already wrote a three. Don't worry, guys. Next bag is okay. Seven point three pounds. Holy this shit. is the the heaviest bag of the night. Now there is a ton of tiny stuff in this bag. Uh, there's well more than a hundred items in this bag because it is so many small things down there. I don't have a clue what all that is, but there's there's a pin. There's a snowman. There's pins all through here. Um, I don't know. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. There's an owl. There's a blue, a blue kind of enameled piece that looks like a rock. Turn it around. Uh, I'm looking. Or, oh, look at this ring. Hold on, that's a cool lucite. Looks like a lucite ring right here. Let me pull that up. Oh, it's running away on me. <laughs> Went into the bag. Well, I can see the back side of it. It's got something in it. It's got like a Christmas tree or some kind of a tree on the front side of this lucite ring right here. Uh, I wonder if it glows. They say. Let me look. That lucite one. If I can get it to the top, that's cool. All right, there we go. So that's the, can you see it at that angle? That blue guy right there before I touch him, he disappears every time I touch him. <laughs> that ring is in there um, glowing. Okay, so let's look. Here. Here's what it looks like in the black light. That is glowing some. That lucite one was. There's some white stuff over here that kind of glows. Name um, who said no bad thing or such thing as a bad bag of jewelry. There's some right there. So anyways, here you go, guys. That bag is loaded. This has more items in it. Uh, I have no idea what these items are, though. There's lots of tiny stuff in this one. Look at this ring, Luke. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Look right here. Is a, oh, the hat there's covered it up. Hat. There's a There's a rhinestone underneath the cowboy hat, but it's a ring. And I can't get it to go up. Let me turn the bag over. Maybe that works. They're so <laughs> full. Man, this bag is packed. Oh, well, it's, there's a it's good in ring there. in there. It's fun. It's good. It's in there. There's a purple something back here. Like a mother of pearl over there. There's a shell. Yeah, there's a whole shell right there, Lucas. Is it a mother of pearl? No, it's a shell. Like, it's got gold decoration on a shell. I don't I don't know. It's something. Yeah, there's um, a run. I thought you were on. running it. You didn't push start? No. Well, push start on that. I thought we were selling <laughs> the bag. Talking, I let you talk. No, no. Sell them quick. We got a lot to get done tonight. Run that thing. Okay. Sorry, guys. I oh, thought he was those running. Those lips. <laughs> what lips? Oh, yeah. There you go. Kiss my grits right there. Huh? <laughs> Did you really say that? <laughs> no, there's lips there. <laughs> so kiss my bag, Luke. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Anyways, uh, we're, we're selling a heavy, heavy bag with lots of little, little stuff in it, guys. This is the one you're getting. This is the one. This is the one. It's heavy. Hey, I'm getting a good workout in tonight just holding this bag up. Shorter workout. Do what? There's that yeah. angle. And it's over. Paula Casagrande. Paula Casagrande, congratulations at $104 on that bag. 
Fala Casa Grande Signs. How much was it? Um, okay. 104. Luke, I'm going to weigh the next bag. The next bag will be number five, right? Yep. You got to make sure you mark them. We appreciate all you people that, um, like, all you re uh, coming back, all everybody that comes back. Our repeat, repeat, Our repeat bidders, buyers. repeat yeah. buyers, yeah, the customers coming back. I mean, we, we're having fun with you guys. We hope you're having a blast with us. It's been a great ride so far on whatnot. Um, okay, now look at this, guys. There is so many bracelets in this bag. It's ridiculous. How much look at all of these. This is mostly bracelets in this area. Lots of bangles down there. Look at this one right here. This one here is like a metal one. That one's a, a, some kind of a hard plastic. Um, this one here has got like a stone or something on the outside. So you want me to just start? Uh, did you get the weight? I said eight pounds. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, okay. This one's a five and a half pound bag. Um, and yeah, just start the auction. Let's run it. Oh, look at the green googly eye looking things up here. Let me see if anything glows. Um, that's glowing. Look at that. Boom. And then I, where'd the green guys go? There were some green googly eyes. Look right here. I don't know what these are. There's like little green eyes on these guys. Little yeah, green eyes. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Um, They're green with yellow eyes. Here's the bottom again. That's cool. There's that glows up there. What is There's that? some glow that, down there. I don't know. It's kind of looks neat. like a almost like bakelite chips or something yeah. or hard plastic chips all put together in a bracelet. That's cool. Really cool. Um, again, these are all from the South Florida guy. This is a big rhinestone like star earring down there. I don't know if there's a pair or not. Uh, I have not opened any of these bags, guys. This one's got some kind of a writing or characters or something on it. I don't know what those are. And who got that one? MP is me one. MP ninety six dollars. MP is me one. That one. Thank you, Mamma. All right. Did you weigh it? Nope, you didn't weigh it. Here we go. All right, this one weighs seven point two, Luke. Yep. All right, guys, this one's a 7.2. Um, I am looking at it for the very first time, just like you are. Let's see what we can find in here. So lots of necklaces, it looks like, in this one. Look at the big beads on that side. They're like a, a black black and white. Those are clay or what those are made of. Um, there's flower. Lots and lots of beads in this one, like beaded necklaces and stuff. Uh, there's some art glass. That's an art glass one right here. Is mom still here? Hey, mom, are you still here? Yep. Also, she's still here? Mom's in there working. Silka's working. She, of course she is. She never stops. <laughs> she's like a machine. Okay, guys. Oh, next bag. You got it running yet? Uh, Did I give you the weight already, right? You yep. heard me? All good. Did All right. Try that uh, glow it? Uh, no, I didn't actually. Yeah, that one's glowing there. The white's probably... That's glowing. Whatever that is down there is glowing pretty good. Oh, those oh, look at these. These right here are glowing big time. So this is the one, guys. This is a heavy bag. Uh, lots and lots of stuff in this one. What'd you do? What the world? Here, my boss phone went rogue. I don't know what happened. Could you give me some candy and the, the drink? Uh oh, Lucas is getting hangry on us. He's, he's trying to kill the hungers. <laughs> Jennifer, <Lopez. laughs> Paula Casagrande won that auction. Oh. Fat Paul's going to get us all in trouble here. Ninety-seven dollars. Thank you, Paula, uh, so much for bidding on that bag. Man, I'll tell you what, Luke. Uh, we got <laughs> Fat Paul's phone's just acting like crazy right now. I don't know what he's got going on. Six, this is a 6.3 pound bag. They said you have to. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Behave. This, this right here is crazy nice. Check this out. This necklace right here is full of tiny little stones, and then it's set in metal. Um, I can't tell. It looks like, uh, what is that? Ja like Jasper is what it looks like, set in some kind of a metal. Um, that's what it looks like. Those little red pieces there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of stuff. Look at that blue one right there. That I bet that glows. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I will see you later. Bye, Mom. Oh, Silk is checking out on us. I'm covering the light up so you can see the glowies. That's what's glowing. Silka said she's done working. She's going home. Okay. The glowing is done, but the bag is amazing, guys. Oops, I almost opened that bag okay, up upside down. Getting. 
<laughs> Lucas is snacking. Hey, I'm still feeling good. I'm ready to keep rolling, right? Well, I'm feeling yeah, good. we got Fenton coming up. We're going to get into a box of uh, unseen Fenton from you guys. Uh, Lucas and I wrapped it up earlier. Well, start this one. Oh. He, got, he keeps forgetting to push the start button. No, I'm hungry. He's hungry. Oops, that bag's starting to open on it. I don't want to turn that one the other way anymore. It might spill on me. Oh. So we'll just go like that. That's oh, there's a lot of stuff in there, guys. What is that one? That's kind of interesting. This has got like crystals inside of a, a bin. Grab that. I, I dropped a piece. Well, I'm gonna put it back in the bag for you. Only, <laughs> only the one or two came out. Grab those back. I will. Listen, and I'm gonna seal know. this bag up. I'm not turning it anymore. I this is the you bag. Said you were. <laughs> I didn't realize I did. Bug 57 one. Congratulations. All right. Bug 57. Oh, hold on. Hold I on. think my dad drank a little too I'll, much I'll coffee. Too. Hold on. I'm back in that. Underneath that one, yeah. Luke, is your computer all right? Hold on, I'm gonna find that piece that came out. There it is. We had it run away. <laughs> What's everybody saying? <laughs> Buy on that one, <laughs> probably because he's dropping pieces out of it. Okay, I've got the piece back. Don't drop it. It's going back in the bag. Don't turn that bag sideways. Leave that one like that. Shoo we. <clears throat> All right, this is the last bag, guys. Oh, <laughs> she said throw in whatever you find on the floor. <laughs> you might be in trouble. No, seriously, though, this, this bag is crazy nice. Okay. If you like gold gold color, gold tone, brass tone, uh, man, this bag is absolutely loaded and it is heavy. Uh, this bag is six pounds. Six pound bag. Absolutely stunning. Look at that bracelet right here. Don't start this one quite yet, Luke. I got to show them some of these pieces. Ooh, are that pretty. bracelet is killer. Yeah. Um, those are right here, guys. This is great stuff. I could piece this all out separately yeah. and do extremely well, but we're not going to do that tonight because it came out of this box. And I said I'm going to sell everything in that box. Um, that piece is signed. I cannot make it out. There's a clip earring there signed. There's an owl earring in there. I don't know yeah. if there's Holy two or not. Smoke. Here's a pendant box down here. Uh, Wait, man. No, there's amber Amber over here? It it's went away. It fell in. Oh, right here? Uh, maybe like a citrine. No, no, that can't like be a quartz. It looks like a quartz. I thought it was Um, let me get some of that open back up a little further. Okay. Some green. In so this is the bag you're buying. There's a blue. there's a blue right here. There's all kind of like coin. There's a coin piece right here. Uh, I don't know gold filled or costume or brass there's just say i'm just going to say it's a mixed bag of gold colored jewelry uh brass and gold colored jewelry that's what you're getting yeah all right yeah run it straight from south florida look at that big black uh pin. that's a necklace that looks like a big yeah. necklace on the top fun piece guys fun group that is a really nice bag that yeah. is a lot a lot of, there's got to be a hundred pieces in that bag I mean, it's hard to keep it all from squishing together, but that bag is loaded full of stuff. Like Just tons of stuff. Right? That big chain is fun. Yeah. Now, if you would happen to find a big gold chain like that in there, you can go ahead and just send us an extra check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming there's no big gold pieces in there, guys, but there's a lot of, it could be gold filled or brass and then mixed metals, but lots of all gold color stuff. Well, somebody's about to win. It's about over? It's over. All right, what we got? Peggy's Mac. Peggy Mac won. Congratulations. First okay, time that was all of our jewelry. Um, fitting time. We got to go rogue. Uh, we'll, it, okay, Lucas, um, that box of fitting that you and you guys carried up out of the car earlier, yep. do you know where it's at? Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. Can we take them? Will, will the Wi-Fi work if I go rogue? Nope. Why don't, don't you tell you me if the Wi-Fi quits working? Okay. Um, you know what? It, all right, know guys. The file is? Um, I'm going to walk with you. No, you got to come with me. We're gonna go upstairs, and make Lucas carry. So we're here. At, we're here at the auction still, and uh, we have a, some Fenton that we per purchased today. A really nice grouping of hand painted Fenton. Um, and so we are gonna go open that box up. We weren't sure if we we're gonna to get to it, but I'm feeling pretty good about today. And I've got a lot of energy, lots of caffeine in me. So we're gonna keep running for a while. Um, Luke, you gonna come help carry this? Okay, he's coming. It's going to get dark. I'm going to turn the light on. It's really cold in this part of the building. We don't have the heat up. So if it gets a little sketchy on the signal, just stay with us. We're going to sell it back downstairs uh, where we were. But I'm going to show you guys, uh, so you believe me here, that we are going to get some stuff we haven't, oh, not, that. not that one, that we haven't uh, unboxed yet. Where'd you guys put that pile? 
Uh, it's dark now. Whoa, we're getting real dark. Lights are on. Um, this pile right here? Okay. Let me show our viewers what we're looking at. Okay, so you see this big pile of stuff, guys? These are all Pez containers. There's a Fenton collection, a Pez container collection, and there was some Russian stack dolls. Um, all stuff is coming up in the next few weeks. Miniature boxes. No, we got to get to the Fenton group. That's not it. Uh, it was out of that office that I was in, right? Is that the one we're looking for? I mean, there's lots. I mean, look at all these miniatures. Uh, these are all miniature jewelry boxes. Um, it's over there. I think it's on this side. There's one box that was full of fitting animals. I thought that would be a fun yeah. group to Did run. Did you pack up that box? I don't remember. I have to look at my video. This box right here. This is the one we want. You want me to grab that one? Yep, grab that box. Okay. Trinket boxes, Humpty Dumpty, field trip. Guys, there's. There, he said there was a thousand Pez containers. I don't know anything about Pez, like Pez. Uh, but like this is a Star Wars Pez grouping. Um, I have no idea. I don't know what that kind of stuff's worth or values or anything. I just know we got a bunch. Take that whole box. Here's, is yeah, that's Blanco? Like Blanco and so yeah. Grab this. Take this box with us. Yep. Okay, so this this you're gonna watch tomorrow's upload and you're gonna see us buy this stuff that we're selling tonight. So. Before the YouTube even comes out of uh, us buying it, we're going to sell it to you. So that is pretty special. So we're going to walk back downstairs where we have better signal, and we will open this box up. Um, wave crest trinkets. We uh, we do have wave crest coming up on Wednesdays, whatnot, at the heart of Ohio. Oops, I got to turn this back around. Okay, so let me get the lights. Uh, now now we're walking in the dark. Man, it was cold up there. So for those of you that don't know where we're at, we are in the middle of downtown Donaldsville. The population is 269 people here. Let me get our security gates all shut back up. Lock these up. Okay, and uh, we go buying every day. We buy tons of stuff every day, but today was a great day of buying. Uh, we found some really cool pieces. And this box right here I know has some of them in it. So. Luke, you put this up there. Uh oh, my computer's gone. Where'd your computer go? I put it upstairs. You took the computer upstairs? <laughs> All right, we'll start as soon as Lucas gets back with his computer. I'll try and unbox with one hand and kind of show you. So here's an Italian music box, inlaid top. Um, this is a Roge, a Roge box, R E U G E, made in Italy, and it's playing a song. So. Um, you guys like that one? We'll start. We'll start with that. We'll just kind of run through this box a piece at a time, and until you guys don't want to bid anymore, or we get tired, or, or Lucas gets hangry. So Wednesday auction, I think it's online from the heart. Yeah, Wednesday is at the heart. We're going to be coming to you live from the middle of the heart of Ohio. Um, I will. Uh, I will. Why don't you? Um, what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let me. I got one hand on the camera. Let me put the camera down. Uh, let you. You hold that, mom. You jump over here on this side. Um, show them that music box. So Wednesday coming from the heart, guys. We're gonna have uh, we do have some wave crests there. Um, uh, would you ever consider putting high priced items in the buy it now, like Lundberg? Over time, we're gonna expand our buy it now from the heart of Ohio. Uh, and our online not, presence yeah, there, but not not in the next few weeks. weeks. Um, All right, Luke, Luke's, com Luke's coming right back in. We're setting the computer back up, and I'm going to start unwrapping. The first item we're going to sell, Luke, this is going to be a music box. It was the first item out of the box. It does work. It plays. It's an Italian music box. It's got an inlaid top. Uh, go ahead and start that whenever you can. Oh, I need a... You need a what? Wait. Wait, not much. It's a music box. Uh, wait is going to be... 14 ounces actual so made in italy uh here's the dimensions on it guys right there what is that about five inches is that what it's saying six inches. six inches or so um nice lacquered finishing great condition it still plays and literally this is out of the collection we picked up today um and we thought it would be cool to do this if we felt like it tonight so we do feel like it and we're gonna run it as and soon I'm as gonna, lucas is ready you want 30 seconds yeah just run it there we I'll go that meanwhile 
30 seconds on the clock. Here, I got it now. Oh, right. did you guys did you show them the stickers on the bottom? No, I don't think Swiss I did. musical movement made in Italy. Yeah, show them the bottom one time. Yep, here you go. It's got lots of stickers on it. It's got the buttons and the and then show them the inside too, real good. Because it's got the music box where you can see it through a, a dust cover window. Oh, that's neat. Is it I assume there's yeah. A little plastic right there. But my favorite part is that design on the outside. Is that inlay? Does that count as inlay? I don't think there's anything else. Just we'll just do a piece at a time and okay. and then run through as I as we come across it. Does it say what song? Oh, it might. It probably does. Yeah, memory number. Oh, memory number five something rather is what the song says. There you go. Nancy oh, Camp well, won Nancy that one. Nancy Camp won. Congratulations. That one down there. I'll get you a sticky note. All right. Man. So Nancy Camp won that auction. Uh, Lucas, uh, we want it on the black table out there. Just set it side by side, right on the black table. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, this is a cool piece. I don't know who made it. Uh, you guys probably know. I don't know if that's Kiwanis or Blinko or who, but it's really cool. It's crackle glass. Uh, same same box with this fit, and we're going to get to. Um, this is the next piece that came out of it. Uh, all things are starting at a dollar. It's in good condition. I don't see any damage on it. Um, just a beautiful little piece. Let's sell it. Let's run it. I don't know, 60, uh, 61 bucks, Mamo. Luke, do you need to no know weights? Or are you good at guessing? Yes, that? I need weights. On everything? I don't know if you were. No, I'm not that good. You're not that good, you're not. You're, last time you're not like that, Kate. You know, okay. Last time we did 10 that, ounces, we actual. 10 ounces, actual weight. Cool colors, guys. We're just going to sell this one right here. Uh, congrats, Nancy. Amberina. It's got like an orange glow, and it's a green handle. I don't know if it's Amberina or Orange Arena. I don't know. It's kind of tangerine kind of color. Um, one. This is the this is with black light. I don't really see any glow, glow no on glow. it. The handle a tiny bit, not much, though. So I would say no on the glow. Um, tangerine color. You want me to start? Yeah, start it. Here we go. Yep. All right, I'll let you hold that while I dig the next piece out. This from I think this this is Blinko, right? Uh, I don't know. There's a couple of different companies that made that. Rainbow it, Glass did too as well. Rainbow, Kiwanis, Blinko. I don't know who made that piece. I never even heard of Kiwanis. Isn't there like a Kiwana Club? Oh, see, this one's got rainbow on it. I bet it's rainbow. See, this next piece has got rainbow. I bet that's rainbow as well. Well, we bet. We don't know. I'm I'm guessing. An educated guess that that's rainbow. Could look, be wrong. Look at the stopper on it too. That's a really good stopper. Oh, and Nancy Camp won. Congratulations. Nancy Camp won that two one. in a row. Two in a row. Okay. How much? Uh, um, that was forty three dollars to Nancy Camp. Okay, Luke. We're gonna keep rolling these jars. So the next jar weighs nine ounces. Guys, this is a gorgeous jar again. This one is the one that has the rainbow sticker. So rainbow glass, West Virginia, right on there. Crackle glass. Again, you're going to see us buy this on tomorrow's YouTube. So tomorrow at 4 o'clock, uh, the YouTube that we send out, we try and do them every day at 4 o'clock. You'll see us actually buying this in the house. Um, this was sitting on the washer and dryer, wasn't it? When we yes, it, it was. Up? Yeah, sitting on the washer and dryer. So anyways, this is the one you're getting. It's signed Rainbow, and let's sell it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Lucas is tagging it. Height. Uh, height. It's about six inches, roughly. It started. Uh, height is going to be six inches. Six inches height. Love watching y'all on YouTube. Man, we are glad you guys are watching us. We're having a lot of fun with that. We're trying to just uh, be educational, having fun. Um, you know what? The world is, uh, life's too short to not have fun. And, uh, you know, we want to share some love in the world and just uh, show that you can have fun in our industry because we got we're, we live in the best industry in the best country. I love being here and, we, and our industry is amazing. That we get to buy and sell antiques for a living is just uh, blows my mind that we get to have fun every day while we work. And so that's what we're doing. We're just trying to share that passion with anyone that wants to watch. Um, and you guys are watching, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's over. M uh, M MP is me. MP is me for $43. Won that one. All right, so I'm going to keep going on this collection. This is just the top of the box, guys. We're going to – if you'll stay with us, we're just going to go for a while. Uh, we're getting practice for our 24-7 our with Kate. 24-7, um, is that how you say that? Nope. That All-nighter. Okay, let me see if this one – Weight on this one's gonna be a tad bit lighter than the last one. It's probably eight ounce guess. I'm guessing eight ounces, Luke, is 7.5 ounces. So oh. let's go with that eight. Um, this is in blue, guys. It's got the applied handle. Same thing, same house, same collection, gorgeous piece of glass in blue. Um, and let's start it. Here's the there's no no glow on that one. Started. 
Uh, the auction has started. It's got the applied handle. It's going to be about six inches oh, tall. Oh, I called this crack. I just assumed. No, this not crackle. crackle. So uh, it's, this is clear. It's not crackle on this Sorry, one. Sorry, guys. I put crackle. I didn't even look at the yeah, he Yeah, he put crackle, but it's clear clear blue. I just thought we were going with a little. Uh, Lucas is getting quick with the listings. Doing great, everyone. Thank you so much, Sky Blue Pink. That's awesome. Hey, we're, we got some fun Fenton. I'm telling you, the Fenton pieces are cool that we're getting ready to get to. We're just going to go down the box. And when we dig them out, we get to them. Um, so who got this one? MM two five two six one that first auction. Time buyer. First time for forty three dollars. Okay, you, man. congratulations. Next item of it. This one's a twelve. No, this is nine. Luke, nine ounces. All right, this is the last of these bottles. I'm pretty sure this is the last of these bottles. Then we'll get into something else. Um, uh, this need, is crackle in this one. I need to describe this somehow so it's not the same as the last one. Um. Well, what is different about this one? I don't know. It's very similar. S Skinny neck. I don't think the last one has the skinny of a neck. Long, skinny neck. Long, skinny neck. Okay. And then we'll make sure we tag it. Just make sure those yeah, tags stay sure on those pieces. Them. We'll have to bag them when we're done today before we leave out of here. Absolutely gorgeous crackle glass. Uh, probably, what would we say, rainbow? Um, probably rainbow. Probably rainbow. This is what you're looking like, guys. Nice condition. Um, again, straight out of this collection. It'll be on tomorrow's YouTube and height is right at six inches. And you're started. Great stopper. Yes, no sticker on this one. Um, amber bubble top is what someone said to call it. <laughs> or yellow. Yeah, it could be. Uh, looks like rainbow. Um, gorgeous Yay. piece of glass, guys. All applied handle. And who gets this one? It's still going. Oh, okay. Uh, here, Mom, you want to hold that and I'll grab the next piece. Uh, hold it right there. Here. Or Luke, I'm going to grab the, the next yeah. piece here. You guys got it? Yeah. Mouse does. Looks like a rainbow. I think it's rainbow because the other one had a rainbow Oops, side. So <laughs> it looks like rainbow. Looks right. like rainbow. I'm unwrapping back here in the background, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, I got and the first somebody's piece. about to win. Check it oh. out. Who got that one? Forty-three dollars, and this goes oh, to. Oh, it got sniped. Oh, it's oh. still going. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> it got sniped. They didn't win. Love watching you on both here and YouTube. Uh, well, we're, thank you. Yeah, we're appreciative, man. Like I said, we're trying to have fun with the YouTube. We're trying to bring more inspiration to our business, bring some younger buyers in. And somebody won. Mimi Ray. Mimi Ray won the auction. I'm going to get these out of the way. Thank you very much. Hey, How much was these it? These were the boxes seconds. I told you guys we had them shipped to us. Uh, this, these, There were three boxes this size that was in a big box, and it was uh, shipped to us directly. And we just opened those up before the auction. Day. Any giveaways? Yep. We have another. We're, we're going to give us give something away here in a minute. Oh, wow. Okay. I We're going to we got to sell this stuff. Look at this blue fin. Hand-painted by Deborah Hill. Absolute stunning Fenton bird. This is gorgeous, guys. Absolutely stunning. Um, we've got some Fenton pieces. I'm just going to keep unwrapping. You guys are lucky because you're getting to bid on this stuff uh, before it's ever seen by anybody. It's not our YouTube video comes out tomorrow with it in it. So uh, watch that and you'll see it. Point me away. How much do you think it weighs? I bet 10, maybe 12. Let's see. 12.6. Uh, it's close. 12.6 ounces. Um, CLL would love that. She probably would love that. And it's starting. starting. The auction is starting. We're going to keep it moving quick. Here's the signature. Um, so there's your signature. It looks like, oh, I can't read that. It says hand painted, hand, hand painted by Deborah Hill. Deborah Hill. And it is just absolutely beautiful, oh, does guys. It glow? Does it glow? I don't know. I never thought to glow that one. No. Uh, Show them. Nah. Doesn't really glow. It's got. I mean, that's what it does. It's got like reflection on it, but I don't know. I don't think it's it really gorgeous does. blue colors, though. Who cares if it glows? Yeah. It's a gorgeous piece. Meanwhile, it's got that one. Let me get the next piece. It's satin glass. Yeah. Satin, satin glass. It, that's the, it's kind of like, how do you describe it? Um, how do you describe it? It's a blue satin glass. glass. Oh, somebody won. Susie Lane, congratulations. That was blue satin for sure. 43. Uh, it brought $43. Congratulations. Blessings to you, Susie Lane. Um, no, I think, you know, guys, for me, um, you know, I feel like, you know, being, uh, well, let's, let me get this one tagged in. I'll tell you my thoughts. Uh, this is the next piece. This one is a hand painted Fenton bird by S. Lee. This is going to be the fat bird. S. Lee, the fat, fat little bird. Uh, it's cute. I didn't say fat, just cute little bird. Compared um, to the last one. Compared to the last one, it weighs 10.2 ounces. Yeah. Um, you see it right there, that tiny spot. I'm trying to get you where you can see it. That's the only thing I see wrong with it. Uh, hand painted by S. Lee, and it's fitting. So we're going to sell that one. Um, Sweetie Bird. That's cool. Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That is so cool. Yeah, it's Chunky Bird. Uh, it's chunky Bird. Is. Okay, so we're selling the Chunky Bird with the uh, small little spot on the on the beak. Um, so you're buying it that way. So I want Janet to have a way to know what it is. So I call. <laughs> so now, I mean, you know, what we're trying to do is once Jocelyn said, "Hey, you guys need to jump on YouTube and and uh, like really do some stuff over there. It, it'd be really good and good for people to see it in our industry." Um, be educational about it. And you guys just do a lot of crazy stuff in your no normal everyday lives. And I thought, well, nobody's going to want to watch what we do. Um, <laughs> you know, why would they? So, but because we've done it our whole lives, this is what we do every day. So anyways, uh, Jocelyn talked us into to starting our YouTube channel. Uh, that's why we started, how we started it. And then my, my goal, part of my goal is like, you know what? Um, somebody's got to keep pushing this market to the younger generation. And T underscore T, T Oros. Um, first time buyer. First time buyer. Congratulations. Thank you. How much? It brought thirty nine dollars. Um, and so you know, as I see, as I Thank see you, uh, the YouTubers out there um, reaching a demographic that I've never seen in our antiques industry and antiques mall and stuff, I'm like, this is exciting because there's a, a lot of young people now that are starting to really pick up in this business. This being the next one, you got tagged. Oh no! Uh, you got to do your job, Luke. And I'll keep talking here. Work team teamwork, right? I'm the talker tonight, and you're the doer. Is that how we do that? I guess so. Okay. So, anyways, what I want to do, uh, this one might glow. What I want to do, yeah, all oh, that glows big time. Uh, is keep keep having fun with you guys. Keep the interest up in our antiques industry. Uh, invite you all to continue to come out to the Heart of Ohio Experience, the America's biggest and best antique center, and we're going to bring whatnot right to the center of that. Um, so uh, we're going to have daily, daily whatnots there at the Antique Center. We're actually remodeling a room for that. Uh, do you need weight or are you good? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's starting. Look at the glow, guys. Call this one Glowy Bird. Uh, I mean, it's glowing like crazy. Turn that light. Uh, yeah, clever that light up. Look how much that glows. Crazy amount of glow on there. If I put it underneath, you can really see it. Um, it's cool, bird. It's a cool, glowy bird. It is fitting and it's hand-painted. It is signed. Here's the artist. Um, probably goes that way. <laughs> I don't know if that's upside down or not. I can't see. I can't see either. But it's got all these cool uh, flowers on it, too. All those flowers are all applied. They're hand-painted and applied on there uh, all across the back. He's got a couple little scratches, like just your normal wear on a piece of fit that's been on a shelf for 25 years. Uh, and so that's that's the one you're buying. There go. But it glows like crazy. So if we can keep having fun with YouTube, keep educating our, our customers, teaching people how to get in the industry, uh, GG Tammy. GG Tammy. Thank Congratulations. You. $61. Uh, $61. All right. Let me see what this piece is. Oh, this one's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you got to like this one a lot. Um, so, yeah, and having fun. So we're having a lot of fun with it. We hope you guys are enjoying it. We do see an increase of, of customers coming into the Antique Center, too, saying, hey, we, we see you guys on YouTube. Um, and then they're starting to watch our whatnots right there from the middle of the Antique Center. Look at the glow on this egg, guys. That is so cool. That's a really cool piece. My grandma's seventies started uh, on my antiques in the seventies, and then you guys seen Pat? Like we're, we uh, we we know a lot of people like like Miss Pat's one of them. This one's signed on the bottom. It says uh, hot, maybe hot. Um, H. You want me to start it? H hot or something? I'm assuming that's Fenton. I don't see a mark on it anywhere, but I'm. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that's fitting. Anyways, I'm not 100%. I'm 90% sure um, that that's fitting satin glass, hand painted and artist signed on the bottom. Um, so we're trying to bring some fun, some family fun to the to the show. And then, uh, you know, just kind of, kind of keep everything going and uh, having fun with you guys. And we it's, really it's appreciate fitting, right? it. Yeah, fitting egg. Yeah, okay, yep. I'm starting. Right up. So we're selling the egg right now. Um, and we, we do buy a lot of volume. We move a lot of volume. Um, and we, we want to encourage uh, anybody out there that's just starting in this industry. Jump in it, man. There's some, there's tons of room. There's I always say, how many times I told you there's room for anybody that wants to get in this business. Just about every day. Every day I tell him that, and so uh, that's what I'm doing. Miss Hey Miss Pat loves her Christmas cards. We, we're still getting them in. Um, I love the antiques and vintage since I was super young. I grew up doing this when I was. Well, how old was I, Mom? When I first started really buying and selling. Oh. About 10, 12, 10, 10 or 12, 10 or 12 yeah. uh, and I really started buying and selling stuff like this. Fenton was one of the first things I learned about and mm. uh, started buying and selling stuff like this. And I'm still buying and selling Fenton. You know, it's been been really fun. Yeah, you're getting old now. <laughs> <laughs> first time buyer. <laughs> Who is it? I can't read it. From I here. can't. How uh, much? <laughs> bidded views Zion. Congratulations and thank you for bidding. And how much was it? Uh, $61. $61. $61. So uh, we, we just got this box from this estate today, um, and 
you know, it was like, this would be really fun for whatnot. We should do this in a week. And then I told Lucas earlier, man, I'm feeling like really energetic tonight. So let's just run. Let's just see how long we're going to go. Yeah, you drank too much coffee. I, I drank a lot of coffee before we came down. What tonight. we got now? Uh, this is a Limoges box. It's hand painted. Janet's probably going to kill us because we got so much stuff selling today. But you know what? This is a practice run. Um, congratulations. Did we say to the winner the last Yeah, item? Vivid uh, View Designs. Okay, congratulations on that. Okay, this is the Limoges France box. Um, it's beautiful, hand-painted top, little powder box. This is what the inside looks like. Here's your mark um, right there, Limoges France. And Lucas is tagging, and I'm showing. How much do you think that thing weighs? Uh, not a lot. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'll just put a pound. Yeah, it's less than that for sure. So you're good uh, with packing and everything. Will be about that. Um, yeah, Janet. Janet will have help tomorrow. She's she's awesome. You know what, Janet? And Janet I started rocks. It. So we're selling this box powder box out of the same collection, guys. This is gorgeous. I did eat. Oh, Lucas God. ate five meals today. That's what <laughs> happened. He's like this when he eats right. No, actually, I only ate three. Because we had to go on a house call, and so I couldn't eat oh, lunch. Oh, well, yeah. When did you eat lunch, though? Like two. It was like because we we went to Columbus this morning. Well, you got up. You came down here and was working. Yeah, cataloging first, at seven thirty. I skipped breakfast because I had to go to work early, <laughs> and so then I didn't get to eat lunch till like two thirty because we went on a house call in Columbus, and so I was very hungry. <laughs> so yeah, but but he's here now, and he is. Uh, we're we're going good. We're feeling really good. Estate sales make me sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and Nanny Poo um, 62 one. I, I love watching estate sales. I love being a part of them. Um, I love seeing people that have cared for stuff their whole lives being passed on to the next generation. I don't think they can hear you. Uh, $31. Okay. Uh, this is a cool piece. <laughs> I missed meals four and five today. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if this is like Tiffin or who. Oh, it's Heisey. Okay. I think it's, yeah, this has got a high Z mark. Okay, this is, again, whatever's in this box is what I'm pulling out, guys. This is signed. It's got a signed high Z. It's a triangle mark right here. What kind of bird is that? Um, it's a bird. Uh, so what is that? A duck? A duck? No, goose? No, goose? Duck? Can, duck, maybe? Uh, anyways, right here, it's got your diamond with your H. It's a high Z mark. Um, and there was some high Z, other pieces of high Z, I think, coming up. You can see the mark right, right there. Uh, there's your mark. So this is Heisey, a Canadian goose, somebody said. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what animal it is. All I know is that it's a Heisey animal. Everybody, did I spell Heisey lock right, everybody? I'm not sure. H-E-I-S-E-Y. It should be H-E-I-S-E-Y. -E yeah, yep. that's right. Okay, I did spell it right. Goose, goose. But this is gorgeous, guys. Oh, hi, hi, did you read about Heisey yet? No. Oh, we got to get Lucas to study Heisey glass next. Uh, another great company. I do know that Terry, was it Terry Kreider worked for Heisey? He was a chemist for Heisey. He, he, he has was, yeah, he did his own art glass. glass. Yeah. He, he was a chemist for Heisey. He was a chemist that was making Heisey's glass. So, um, um, yeah, Heisey. Okay, let's run it. Started. Got it running? Okay. The Heisey bird, guys, uh, right out of the estate, out of the collection. We want to send it back to a place that's going to be loved and appreciated for what it is. Let it fly back. Let it fly back to where it needs to go. So uh, this is the one you're getting. Um, gorgeous piece. You know, Heisey, 25 years ago, Lucas, if you had anything marked Heisey, it was like gold. Yeah, really? Oh, we sold a pair expensive. of, we've sold a pair of candlesticks in this building in that, uh, that Empress, uh, Alexandrite, Alexandrite, Alexandrite color Empress pattern. And they brought like 600 bucks or something at the time. Um, yeah, man, she was so excited with those Christmas. Everybody, if you send, I'll tell you what, if you guys want to send uh, Valentine's cards to, to Pat, that would be awesome. Oh, first time buyer. Um, first time buyer. And it is Finya. Finya S. Fines. Congratulations. Um, so if you guys don't know, it was $27. If you don't know about Pat, Pat is 92 years old. Uh, she's worked for us for 20 years, 25 years, uh, but she's bought off our family for 50 years. So she was buying off antiques from my great uncle before I was even born. Um, and she has just in her entire life just collected and assembled collections of antiques and she loves them. So we went to her house with uh, Jocelyn and George and I've taken Kate there now. And we've just kind of showed everybody uh, who Pat is uh, and showed some of the collections. And Pat said, um, here, let me get another piece out. So Pat, Pat said to uh, uh, just, yeah, go ahead show me these, these people on the computer or whoever you're talking about. And so we started doing that and she has been blown away at the response the Christmas cards. Oh, Heisey glows, guys. That that glass we just sold glowing like crazy. Uh, just by the way, you got a great buy on that. It lit up when we hit it with black light. Um, 
Is Pat coming tomorrow? Uh, I don't think Pat's coming anywhere tomorrow with us. Mom, let me see that black light back again. Oh, I got it right here. Let's see if this one glows. Where am I uploading? No, th that Heisey piece we just sold, I know, it glue. glue like I crazy. Know. Me and Mom took it over and threw a black light on it. It was like, look at that. Um, I would have guessed. I mean, all right. Who'd have it? Okay, Did this one, one this one here is marked Heisey as well, but I don't – let me see. It's got a slight tint. The but other one did really. Yeah, I think the, the other one really glue. This one I'm not seeing a whole lot on. Yeah. This is Heisey again, though, guys. Check it out. It's got your mark. Uh, it's a small bird. Small bird. <laughs> small bird. It's a small one. Right here is the Heisey mark uh, right there. Um, I'm not sure about, about Pat tomorrow. Uh, what is today? Today's Monday, Tuesday. I don't think I'll see Pat tomorrow. It's too it's cold. It's too cold. It's she, too cold. She should die. Uh, you want to send Pat a card, just send it to the Heart of Ohio Antique Center in care of Miss Pat. And, and uh, we will get it delivered. Start that. Start it. All right. This one's selling. This is another Heisey. Um, boy, these are really cool pieces, it's guys. like a little duck. Little little duck or a oh, – no, it's not a duck. What's no. the bird that the, the front goes big on? I forget the name of that. I'm um, not sure. What's the name of this bird, guys? A wood duck? Somebody said wood duck? Maybe. It's hailing in Alabama. Ooh. <laughs> I think hail would be better than the cold we've had. It's been crazy cold here. I'm amazed at the quality of glass that comes from eastern Ohio. I am, too. This is pelican. Is that a pelican? I don't know. Uh, don't know. I'm not quite sure. That's what the back looks like. Let me turn it around. Other side view. Um, not sure if that's a pelican or not, but there is a crazy amount of great glass. Woodpecker, somebody says. Puffin. Um, snowing in central Mississippi. Man. And Finneas finds once again. Back-to-back -back -back wins. Congratulations. How much was it? Uh, $43. All right. All right. Now, here we go. Uh, this should glow. Let me see. No, 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 it doesn't glow. Mm -mm. Wow, I thought that was going to glow right up. I don't think it's glowing though. Talk about a gorgeous piece of like an emerald opalescent Fenton hobnail. Um, that's a cool piece. It's an older piece. There's no mark on it. Um, French, like a French opalescent at the top and an emerald green underneath. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. This is out of this collection. I told you we had some great Fenton. Um, we literally picked this up today. It was sitting on a washing machine. It was just, this was the box in the office, wasn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. We picked up a bunch off a washing machine, and then we got some out of an office. Uh, they well, had. They you were, packed this box. I packed this box. This was out of the office then. So you'll see it tomorrow. Uh, I'll show it to you on the YouTube. Um, let's sell it. There we go. Sell it. Yeah, it's good shape. There's nothing wrong. No damage. Um, just a gorgeous piece of Fenton in like an emerald green color. Oh, um, I said emerald. Emerald. We may have misspelled it. That's okay. Emerald green. That's Donaldsville slang for you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Lucas, Lucas, if you guys, uh, I guess I've said this before. He was valedictorian a year ago, last last uh, summer when he graduated, number one in his class. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm drop out. <laughs> now he's a, now he's a drop in. He dropped into the family business and out of college. So he's a drop in. He dropped right in here. And then Joe Joe dropped in our business too. So now we got Lucas and Joe. Both were stellar uh, high school students. Vintage Cindy won that Vintage, one. Congratulations. Thank you for dating. All right. Let me see what else I got in this box here, Luke. Um, I don't know if they would want to buy. I, I doubt it. Let, let's just ask. Would you guys want to buy uh, little boxes like this? This is a cool little box. Um, it's porcelain. There's no mark on it. Um, if it your does... bid button's not working, you can you should probably exit or swipe out of the app and come back. I think uh, this one. Exit. This one, the hinge is not working right, Luke. Yeah, I don't want to sell yeah, that one. Sell the hinge isn't working right. Let's pass that up. They all said yes, but sorry. <laughs> That sucks. They all said, Eric, like we got so many yeses. We had a lot of yeses, it. but I broke Love the that. hinge Love when I was that. trying to open it. So I apologize. I got to get it fixed first. <laughs> so we're going to sell this one instead. Uh, there's some really cool trinket boxes here. Uh, this one says Department 56. Okay. So that's a little, was it Little Red Riding Hood? Riding Hood? Department 56, Little Red Riding Hood, miniature trinket box um, out of this little house here. Uh, the same box I've been selling out of. So let's sell it real quick. It's lightweight. Four, four or five ounces or somewhere in there probably. Weigh it? I don't know. I just want to get an idea of what these weigh. So, yeah, under two. So, yeah, really cool piece, guys. Um, it does open up. The clasp works good on this one. The other one didn't work, and I tried to get it to work and broke. So There we um, go. Started. We're selling this one. She has started. She has started. She is really cute, though. Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> You know the story, Absolutely. right? Uh, uh, isn't it a song as well? That's that's a song now. She went uh, to grandma's and then the wolf tried to eat her. Yeah. 
I watched Valedictorian, it. guys. See what I mean? <laughs> Must be in a small school. Small school. Yeah, small school. <laughs> there was him and Josiah, I think, were the only two in the class. <laughs> yeah. They're ranked number one and two. <laughs> Oh Lord, help us! Um, okay, cat, cat mom won the auction. How much First did it bring? Buyer. First time buyer, twenty-seven dollars. Congratulations. Um, okay, so uh, I don't know. This was just the next piece, guys. So was that uh, what is her? Betty, 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 Betty Boop, right? Is that Betty Boop? That is Betty Boop. That is Betty Boop. Okay, My so it's nineteen. Love Betty Boop. Nineteen ninety-nine King Feature Syndicate. Uh, Betty Boop. Um, I'm gonna try not to break the hinge on this one when I open it and see if it. I wish it. I could give this to my football. My football coach, he has a Betty Boop sign in his classroom. Hayden. Oh, Hayden does. Yeah, he has. Like, Hayden's a Betty Boop guy. He loves Betty Boop. I didn't know that. All right, so you're buying Betty Boop. She opens up. Um, there you go. That's what the inside looks like. This is what the bottom Same looks way. like. Yeah, it's light. It's not gonna be much. Uh, I got it upside down. Hold on. This is what the bottom looks like. And let's sell it. Betty uh, Boop, a Betty Boop trinket time. box. It's taking its time. It's taking its time. No, the Wi Fi is not acting up, is it? But, anyways, um, with Lucas, I'm really glad that he's here, man. We've been having a lot of fun, and it's given uh, Silk and I a lot of a, a lot of excitement about where the business is going to go because these guys are young and energetic, and him and Joe are wanting to uh, really expand over the next uh, couple of years. Um, you know, our weekly sales, we're talking about doubling those up. And then the whatnots, we're talking about going to uh, five days a week in the mornings at the heart. And then our hand picks on Monday night still here in Donaldsville. So lots and of fun it stuff. It started. Here we go. This one's selling. And this is, again, from the collection today in Columbus, Ohio. All right, Luke, grab that one. I'll grab oh, something gotcha. else out of this box. Did you show the, the inside? I think so. There's the inside. Yeah, and Betty's sitting on top in the shower, in the, in the tub. The rubble tub, 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 tub. Trying to find some more. Rub a dub in the tub. <laughs> What'd you say? Rub a dub dub in the tub? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Oh, I found the cool piece, guys. Here's the paper one. Bye bye. Oh God! Ah, I got. A, I, I got saw, a winner I saw here. one of these in the heart today, actually. You did? I, I, it was, I if it's, no, it just reflects. Doesn't Is it still going? going? Yeah, that's still going. They like Betty Boop. Oh, everybody loves Betty. They Boop. love Betty. See, I, that's why Coach I, Hyden loves Betty. I Hyden Betty loves Boop Betty. Boop Betty. Like, it's, like, you would never guess Coach Boop. Hyden would like Betty. Boop. No, I wouldn't have guessed that. Sky blue pink. Sky blue pink. <laughs> one of the auctions. Thank you. All bro. right, now guys. Thirty-nine dollars. This is cool. Fenton puppy dog out of sight look at this fenton puppy dog absolutely gorgeous congratulations sky uh sky blue thank you for bidding everybody uh look at the fenton puppy it's got the paper label hand painted by fenton um hand painted by who is it hand painted by i said fenton something i can't make it out something hatter uh the name's covered up by the label and i don't want to peel that off so yellow. that's what it looks like if we go 24 hours, we will be punchy. Just imagine that. We've been working since, uh, what, you started at 7.30 this morning? Yep. So we're at hour uh, 8 or 9 to 10. We're at like hour 15-ish right now. I mean, we only got to go another 10 hours on top of this, and we'll be right what? there for 11 <laughs> hours. Um, and, you know, like, I'm, I'm not saying all tonight, but I'm just saying, like, for us, for a work day, we can get this done. Oh, uh, wow. It does not glow. We tried to make it glow. Um, just, here's, here's what it does under black yep, light. Started. It's just kind of blue reflecting. But that's gorgeous puppy. Look at the hand painted, the, the eyes on there. Yeah, those um, are I mean, that's just a cool piece, guys. I don't know if I'm just not observing, here's the flower. but today at the heart was the first time I saw a Fenton puppy. Really? Yes. That's a cool Fenton puppy. I mean, look at the tail on that thing. It sticks way up in the air. It's got all the flowers like, We must on. not need sleep. <laughs> it's overrated. <laughs> no, I need it. Lucas sleeps a lot. Uh, I used no. to sleep a lot. I can't sleep anymore. I wake up. I wake up at like five o'clock in the morning with my hips hurting. I don't know what's getting what's and going on here. R M N twenty five twenty six. R M N brought seventy one dollars. Sold. Uh, congratulations. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, R M N. Uh, blessing to all you guys bidding today. All right, let me dig another item out. Here you go, Mamma. So, okay, I got a bell here, but we got a little bit of an issue. What's wrong? Well, let me show you the good stuff first. So this is the bell. This is cool. Uh, is and ben? look, it glows. This is a glowy. Is it Fenton? Big time glow. Yeah, this is Fenton. Glowing like crazy, but there's no dinger. There's no dinger in there. It's not cracked. It's not chipped, but it doesn't have a dinger. 
So let's sell this one here. Trust uh, found. Ooh, look at the look at that glow on that. That's crazy. Trust uh, found. Yeah, I mean, look at the birds. Um, here I'll weigh it. I guess he's he's wanting no weight. It's under a pound. If it's less than a pound, we can just put a pound. The use tag was there. Ten. Um, it, I think it it probably had. It's got the uh, the two pieces of glass on the inside that come down where like a string could go through for to hold a dinger, but there's no dinger oh, in there. I it's not the chipped. I just started. Oh, it now. started, guys. That's okay. Lucas went ahead and hit the start button. I meant to pin. Um, I started. Sorry, guys. So, so that's what it looks like with the black light. This is natural colors, kind of like a pink and uh, green satin uh, painted all the way around, and it is artist signed, uh, dated 1979, hand painted by <laughs> Lewis Piper. That's um, almost, there's the hand painted signature stuff on there. 1979. That's what it looks Josh like. Man, under at night with the black light, that's just going to pop for you. So that's more than double my age. That's double your that's age. More than double. Your age. You're young. Josh was born in 79. Yeah. <laughs> Josh was born. He's a puppy. Oh, Danny Poo, 62, 62, won the auction. Congratulations, $40, $43. Thank you again, Danny Poo. A lot of people took the dingers out so they wouldn't get Oh, they took the dingers out so they wouldn't get cracked? Yeah. Okay. Grandkids and kids come over and want to ring them. I got another really cool. This this is so much fun tonight, guys. Is this art glass? Uh, how old of stuff do y'all have? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean... When I was collecting, I used to collect a lot. I sold my collection off about 12 or 15, probably 15 years ago. Uh, I collected from like when I was a kid all the way up till 15 years ago. Star Wars stuff. Uh, I started off with Star Wars, but then I got into folk art, 18th and 19th century stuff. And I had a whole house full of it. Um, lots of early, early stuff. Look at this bird. Here, get that, oh, yeah, get that glass type of art glass hummingbird. Uh, I'll weigh it. So I collected for a long, long time. Uh, but lots of I had like percussion uh, firearms, percussion long rifles. I had folk art, 18th, 19th century folk art. Um, some Americana, not a lot. Wait, uh, two pounds. That's what it weighs. Yeah, 1.6. Oh. So it's all right. Um, so I used to collect a lot of folk art, which was like a lot of handmade type stuff. And we sold our entire collection except a few pieces. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, didn't mean to cough on you, <laughs> except a few pieces. So we sold almost everything we own except a few little pieces. And now we just started in the past year since we bought the Heart of Ohio Antique Center to start collecting again. Um, so I've got a few few new pieces I've added, but I, I'm collecting memories now, uh, not necessarily like a, a certain age or anything, but just uh, memory memories. So when we go on a deal, like today, I kept a piece from this deal. I don't think Lucas even knows. Mm -mm. Um I'll, I'll show it to you. It's in, I've got it over here on the on the counter. Hey, um, that's what my uh, my base is. It's a memory from it's a the memory. first time I met uh, Jocelyn and George. Yeah, and you, not only that, so you got that memory from when we went up there. You got the memory from the mansion, and so uh, <laughs> we're collecting memories now um, at our house. We're not really collecting a specific and my age only or other style. Thing is the mortar shell, which is the mortar shell, which our first whatnot with Kate that we did upstairs. That was such a cool thing. All right, so this is the art glass hummingbird, guys. I've showed it to you long enough. <laughs> Straight out of the house today. Um, started. We've only owned this for what eight, ten, twelve hours now. Has it been Whatever. That long? It may have, may, maybe it's been longer. I don't know. It was that this long morning. And only one meal. Uh, one meal only that long. <laughs> we may have to order. Okay, we get Chinese this late, Luke. <laughs> probably not. We can probably get. We probably uh, phone in to your mom and have her bring you a sandwich now. <laughs> I, I bet she. Would. I bet. I bet she would. I bet she's asleep. Oh, uh, size. I didn't even say the size on that. There's no maker marked. It's probably Italian. Uh, what is that about eight inches or so? Um, roughly eight inches tall, seven, seven inches tall. Uh, looks like Murano. Uh, I don't know. It's not marked anything, no damage, glow. but just gorgeous piece. It doesn't glow. We've hit it with the glowy already. Oh, okay. Um, but, but I just think that is so cool guys. Um, again, right out of the same house with all the stuff we're selling today. This is the back of it. Uh, there's the bottom just polished off. Uh, just a cool piece of art glass. Very cool. Very cool. Very, man. very, very cool. Um, yeah. So. And Jason Theoran. Jason Theoran. Theoran. The how do we say that? What happened? And it was a hot. Well, how know, much was it? Was a way $111. To... Was it $111? Yes, uh, yeah, $111. Are we allowed to sell Zippos on here? Uh. You should consult them first. I may not be allowed to sell Zippo. I got a really. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm not gonna sell it to them if we're allowed to. But that's a cool Zippo lighter. Uh, really cool piece with a duck. But I think I got another Heisey animal. So let's let's see if. The, yep, another Heisey. What's this one? That same oh, as the. Oh, I, I better not sell, sell it. it. Yeah, okay, because that's it. the same as that other one. We don't want to get them confused. 
Well, it wouldn't matter if they're the same, right? Well, you yeah. still, they bought one, you don't want to give them the other. Okay. Um, Hall, this That's, is uh, cool. Dorothy. Okay, so this here is signed Wizard of Oz. Um, let's sell Dorothy. Now, this is really interesting. Here's the mark on the bottom. Mm, try and get that to focus on you. Wizard of Oz. Yeah, somebody said no lighters. Can't sell lighters. Okay, so no lighters. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Uh, and what's really interesting, guys, on the inside are the ruby slippers. The ruby slippers are on the inside. And it says there's no place like home. Um, it does It does button down. It's in good shape. Uh, yep, yeah, it is what it is. Wizard of Oz trinket box. Scouty would one. have liked that at one time. Who? Scout, that she used to call. Oh, it she did. And she wanted ribby. Well, ribby wasn't she so in? Was you can just start it right away. Yep, you don't start it. Yeah, just start it. Okay. So we're selling this one right now. She got, so so Scout. the rainbow behind it. Oh, it's got the rainbow. Yeah, over the rainbow. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Over. Can you sing that song? Do you know it? No, I'm not going to sing the song. Somewhere. Have you ever, there's this one guy, he's from Hawaii, and he sings that song, and it's really, really good. Really? I'm not good at singing at all. I know. Hey. Interesting fa family fact. My dad, Papaw, was in a band. <laughs> what was the name of your band, Papaw? The Ides of March. The Ides of March. Papaw was a, a guitar player in the Ides of March. The Ides of March. Ides of March. Ides of March. You read about the Ides of March? What do you know about them? It's a bad time for Julius Caesar. Bad time for Julius Caesar. Okay. <laughs> M, M, uh, MP is That's me. That's where I got your name from. Okay. Congratulations. $81. You. MP is me. How much was it? Uh, $81. $81. $81. Okay, can we do a Betty Boop Inc.? That's a different one. Ooh, uh, yeah, nice. I'll describe it differently. Okay, uh, Betty Boop, Betty Boop Inc. It says uh, on the top. Um, this one's a 1998, so it's a vintage piece. It's a trinket box, though. Right? And on the inside, trinket box, and it says uh, Betty Boop on the inside. So Dad was in a in a in a band when he was in high school and used to play a lot of uh, guitar and dance and. Pap all used uh, to uh, sing his banjo every time we met up and his guitar he brings his guitar and he messed around on banjo a little bit so pat paul yeah he's got all kind of uh, hidden talents back there <laughs> so maybe he'll bring down a guitar and, and play live here in a few minutes i don't know oh, no. hey we got a guitar sitting over there pat paul where'd that guitar go oh it's upstairs it's upstairs we got a yamaha guitar maybe we can have pat paul perform for the hey, start just right away okay <laughs> oh, let's start yeah just instantly start everything uh, you want to drop to 20 seconds so we go faster? Oh, we can if you want. All right, let's do that. We're going to go to 20 seconds after this item so it goes a little quicker. Um, get you guys some more stuff. So That's a cute it is baby. cool. Um, what did he do? So dad played a good, what'd you play, lead or rhythm? Rhythm. He was a rhythm guitar player, electric guitar. What kind of guitar? You had a Fender, wasn't it? Yeah. 12 string. 12 string Fender? Mm -hmm. 12 string Fender, electric guitar. And uh, he would he would wear the bell bottom pants and the whole nine yards and was in a band in his high school days, uh, really cool. Even after high school, we played a lot of main clubs around. That's they said play dad. We should change our intro and have you play a play a little guitar music <laughs> on our intro. <laughs> that might be I am up for it. I don't know if Papa would be, but that would be cool. Uh, blue suede shoes. What kind of shoes did you have? <laughs> blue, blue or sky blue, pink one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I've got sidetracked. Thirty-five dollars. Uh, thank you, sky blue, pink. Congratulations. Blessings to everybody bidding tonight. Man, I'm running out of sticky notes. <laughs> I gotta find something else to sell. The box oh, is getting dude. empty. This, whoever left already, because we've dropped about thirty people. This is so cool. Okay, this is signed. Um, let me weigh it first. Does that count as an end of day? My phone's ringing. That map, my or, wife must if be that's calling. map or mom, can you answer it? Oh, hey, this is cool. If it's mom, could you answer it? <laughs> One point six pounds. Yeah, that's not us. Look at this art glass, guys. Uh, what do I count that? This is like is a, that it's an oil lamp, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about answering it. I wouldn't worry They're about it. They're calling this late. Don't worry about it. Pink and brown. Somebody's trying to call our office. We're not in. We're closed. Pink and yellow? Yellow. It's pink and yellow. It's art glass, and it is signed on the bottom, um, and I can't make it out, but there's the name. Uh, How much did you right say it was? Uh, what did I say? One six? I forget. Uh, one six. Actual. So really cool piece of glass. The coloring in this is phenomenal. Let me see if it glows. Um, nope, no glow. Just a really, really cool, no sound. Somebody says no sound. Uh-oh. Please hold the signature still. My bad. Um, uh, can you guys let us know if there's sound? Lovely. Is there sound? We got sound all right? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Papo's so here is it the started. signature. Uh, cannot hold it still enough for you to read, I don't think. It's hard to read. You should tell them it started. That one the day. auction has started, guys. Uh, it's a 20 second auction. So it's a quick auction on this. Uh, great piece of art glass. This is fabulous art glass piece. Quick auction. We dropped it to 20 seconds. Um, so here's what you're getting. It is art glass all around. Then the stopper comes out like this is a, you put your oil in there and you can burn it or something. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's all glass, too. Uh, everything's handmade and it's all glass. It's absolutely stunning colors. We have a couple of tiki and it's torches artists, like artists signed. Uh, just a cool, cool piece of glass. So that's the one you're getting. All right, man. Well, you hold that and I'll grab another piece. Does out of that the box. count as end of day? End of day? I don't think so. I don't think it's really the okay, colors. First time uh, congratulations, oh. a first time buyer, R Simmons. R, R Simmons. R Simmons. 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 R Simmons. Congratulations. Thank you so much. 50, Blessings you. How much? Fifty-six dollars. Um, this is so fun that we're doing this out of one box. Uh oh, that one don't close, or does it? No. You only we, got we one. We can't sell it. That that one. Oh, this one. matches that other one. Yep. All right, we're not gonna sell that. Well, it's a pair. Oh, we had a pair. I didn't realize it. We had a pair and didn't know. That's all right. I got more. Okay. We haven't sold one of these yet tonight. Oh well. And this glows. Okay. This is a piece of Fenton, guys. This is a bunny rabbit. Uh. Right here, here's your glow. It's got a lot of glow on it. It's got a couple little uh, scuffy marks or whatever. Just it needs wash. It looks like it, it just needs a good cleaning. Um, again, this is straight off the shelf, but you can see we haven't cleaned any of this stuff. See the little like the scratch mark. It's not scratch, it's like a blue. I don't know if it's ink or something on it. And then over here's got some dirt on it, but. Boy, he's just cute. He's cute. He's straight out of the estate in estate condition. And it's hard. Uh, it is signed on the bottom right here. It says hand painted by something. And it, again, it's just dirty. It's just been sitting um, and it needs washed up, but it glows and it's a good piece of glass. Look at this right here. Um, let me go from the bottom. Maybe that'd look cool. Mitch, she cover up the light? Oh, no. Yeah, she covered it. Yeah, it definitely glows, but that's the one you're getting on the rabbit. And it's about to go. And it's about to go. Few seconds left, and who gets it? Uh, Snipe. Snipe. Snipe got it. Sniper. <laughs> Just a cool bunny rabbit. Cool, cool bunny rabbit. Yeah. He's been out playing in the dirt. He's been out <laughs> playing in the dirt. Bunny rabbits like playing the dirt. GG Tammy. GG Tammy won that one. Thank you, GG Tammy. Congratulations. It was $56. The GG Tammy. Huh. Okay, that was a green bunny. Now we're going to sell a blue bunny. I sure hope I called it green. I did call it green. Okay. This one is blue. This one is hand painted um, by Janet. Does that say Janet? By Does hand painted it? by Janet S. I think that's what that says. If you guys can read that or not, uh, there you go. But check it out. That is cool. Blue bunny rabbit. It's got the hand painted scene all the way around. Really, really nice piece. And we're gonna start this one off. Here we go. Here we go. Start the started. auction. What's about? Um, no glow. No glow. All right. I need my coffee. I hit it. Here we go. He hit my coffee. I just need a drink. I didn't drink water or anything. You were I bouncing off the walls earlier. You know, if I get too much caffeine, I get going. Um, so when I do that 24 hour or whatnot, that, I'm going to have a bunch of caffeine because Kate's going to have a hard time keeping up. Oh, gosh. I'm just telling you, Kate's <laughs> going to have a hard time keeping up. They don't know us. We stay up late. <laughs> <laughs> they said, really? <laughs> Joss, the artist, said, really? <laughs> Go, Lucas. I would love to know what makes these so valuable. Genuinely fascinated because I've never heard of them before. The Fenton Bunny Rabbits. Oh, that's fun. These are cool. Fenton's an Ohio glass company. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, we used to, I used to sell those. I used to have a Fenton dealership when I was like 18. Did so? Um, okay, they sold for $56. And who got that? Nanny Poo um, 62. Nanny Poo 62 got that. Describe some more Fenton. Why, why is it valuable? People just like it, I guess. It's really good. Well, it's a great company with great quality. Quality. Ohio. Okay, now we're getting into the more, uh, more rare pieces oh, wow. of Fenton. This one is, I love this one. That Check it out. Pretty crazy. I'm going to sneak it up on you. Look at that emerald French opalescent uh, Fenton, absolutely stunning. Um, straight out of the collection today. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So Fenton's been around for a long, long, long time, and uh, I mean, I've sold Fenton for uh, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for How single you think pieces that thing before. Weighs? Give me a uh, wait. Um, and I'm, I'm not an expert on Fenton, but there's a lot of experts out there. Well, I know that I don't see that green 15, color very often. 15 ounces, 14.7 or something That's like that. That's a pretty 
different color. Yeah. So, um, but anyways, close? this is this is an older piece of fenton and this darker green. Uh, I don't know that when I say older, I'm not sure if that's out of the 60s or 50s or 40s. I don't know, but I, I guarantee somebody watching does. Um, you want me to say or start? Opalescent is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, guys, I just want you to see that. That piece is stunning. Uh, look at the deep, deep green in there. Um, hey, somebody said the only thing that determines price is what people are willing to pay for. It. That is true. Exactly. That is true. And today we're going to see what we are going to determine the price on this right now. Yep. Here oh, we go. We want to see if it glows up. Started. Saying? I don't think it does. No. No glow. No, no glow. glow. No glow on the gorgeous green, guys. That is a stunning cruet. That's pretty enough. Uh, yeah. Hobnail. Look at there hobnail um stopper as well gorgeous piece yeah that's pretty cool i mean that's cool and it's it literally uh what i like about this is this we picked this up right out of the house today yeah and we're selling it um Tonight. nobody <laughs> even knew we were selling it before you guys seen this live so, matter of fact we don't even know what the next piece we're going to sell is no, we're no. just going to grab it out of that box unwrap it and sell it oh i know one thing that should be in this box yeah what yeah. was it which piece web oh the web piece we, if we find it We'll see. There's and a piece of web go. that was on the desk. GG Tammy, Tammy. congratulations. $86. Thank you. Uh-oh. Let me see what we got left in here. The box is getting low. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Now I just found some more. Okay. Okay. This We didn't sell one like this yet, did we? Nope. Is that Heisey? That's huge. Yeah, that's Heisey. I'm betting it's Heisey. That's ginormous. Okay, I think this is Heisey. That whole group's been Heisey so far. I'm assuming this is Heisey. Should I say Heisey? Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find a mark. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't see a mark. Is that so we're going to call it uh, attributed to Heisey. How about that? Uh, this one, oh, this one has a chip. I don't know. Should we Should we sell that? It's got a little chip, guys, right here. Um, uh, you guys give us. Yes I need. I need at least a yes or two if you want me to sell that because it's got this piece right here is broken off and I don't want someone to be disappointed. So yes, sell it. We're gonna sell it. Okay. What's that this thing is, weigh? It looks this heavy. is gorgeous. Uh, probably a pound and a half, two pounds. I don't know. It's kind of big. Um, one seven. That was close. One seven. All right, so you want us to sell it. It's it's as is on this one, though, because because of that piece in the back. You don't notice it when it's just sitting there, but the piece on the tail right here uh, is missing. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Heisey, guys. That's a gorgeous piece, uh, probably pretty rare. And um, it started. Does it glow? Does it glow? No, no glow. No glow. It has some. It's got a tiny, tiny green oh, tint to it. But Pete's in chat. Uh, Pete knows everything. <laughs> He's he's kind of he's kind of like George, man. These guys are so educated on the what, the makers and the marks and the uh, who did what when they did it and all that. And uh, this is cool. Uh, we believe it to be Heisey. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's got the damage on it. So just uh, if you're just now getting in there, make sure you see that uh, a gorgeous piece. It's a pheasant, I think. It's uh, mm -hmm. what do you need? I was just if I leave. Are you getting tired? You gonna go home on us, Mamal? You look tired. <laughs> My feet starting to hurt. Your feet starting to hurt. Mamal's oh, feet starting. Go home. To... We're sending Mamal home. Okay, <laughs> well, you guys get over I'll here. Watch you can it say live. she's gonna watch this one, and then she's gonna go home on us. Um, so yeah, pheasant. Uh, really cool piece, guys. Um, pheasant. I believe it's Heisey, and it is absolutely stunning. I missed some of that conversation. Somebody said hi, yeah. Pete. Hi, all. You're all saying you need to go home, Mamal. Mamal and Papa <laughs> are getting late. It's getting late. You know, I'm gonna be a Papa soon, an Oma, Opa. I'm gonna be an Opa. Um, <laughs> I could stay longer if I did. They're saying no, be careful. Stay longer. Now. She, stay, <laughs> she can stay longer, but then she got to call off, uh, call in sick tomorrow at work. <laughs> we, we can't have that. So, <laughs> Mamal, go home and put your feet up. Uh, is what they're all saying. Okay. Uh, Gigi Tammy won that for how much? Forty-three dollars. Congratulations! You go say bye to everybody. I'll go put this away. <laughs> they all want to say bye to you. Oh my so. goodness! Tell tell them God, goodbye. You got the sticker, Luke. Bye, everybody. I'm gonna go home and prop my feet up. <laughs> <laughs> I could stay longer, but my feet was hurting. <laughs> Have a good evening, and thanks for uh, coming on and bidding with us. Oh, look at how many people are saying bye, man. Well, I can't read it. <laughs> no, there's, there's a lot. Thank you very much. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, love you guys. I love you too. Give me a hug. I love you. No, I get a hug yeah, first. I'm her boy. <laughs> You're a great boy. Yeah, I'm hugging my mom. All right. Oh man, I might have to be mobile now that we don't have the. Uh, no, you stay over there. We can put stuff behind us. Yeah, we'll just sit right here behind us out of this box. So. Okay. 
you jump back in. Sorry. Right. Night, guys. We'll just do this box right. here, Luke. There's so much stuff in this box, it's ridiculous. Let me get the next piece out. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see the comments here. Yep, same. So sweet. Uh, love them. Love them. They love you, Luke. Mammal. Mammal. They love Mammal and Papaw. Mammal and Papaw are awesome. They did a great job. Does that count as cranberry? Yep. Cranberry, French opalescent, uh, hobnail. It's got the applied handle. Just a gorgeous piece. Again, guys, uh, everything you see today is directly out of a house uh, that we bought this morning. So this is the next piece. And I told you we're going to sell until this box is empty. So... This is the one. Um, this is a lot of one box. Crazy. You got it? Trying. Uh, Try just it. put it out a pound. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, maybe a little more. Maybe 1.4. Okay. okay, I got it. Yeah, it's 15 and a half ounces, so you're good. All right, this is the one you're buying uh, on the Fenton Cranberry. And everything's starting at a dollar. We're having fun. You guys are having a blast. We're having a blast. Start with it. Um, I'm older than ma'am all. I need to go to bed. Good night, all. <laughs> good well, night. good night. Anybody that's got to go to bed, good night. Blessings. Thank you for joining us. We're so good glad night, that you spent some time with us. Um, Dang, have we sold 75 pieces? No. Janet just said that. We did? For real? Janet just said that. Janet, Janet uh, said, really? 75 pieces? <laughs> need to that's stop. hard to believe, Janet. I think miscounted. I think it's only maybe 57. I think you put your letters in backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine how many pieces I could sell in 24 hours. That sounds so exciting. We could do a 24-hour sale. Uh, I'm just saying, we could really go 74, 75. Somebody said, nice try. <laughs> that was Janet. She said, nice try. <laughs> oh, oh, I won't go over 100. I promise. We won't go over 100. I don't tonight. know if you can promise that. Lucas said we may not promise that we're going to, we might go over 100. We don't know. <laughs> we're just having fun. Jan hey, Janet. Get in the car and come on down. Now, I don't know how we're going to do shipping tomorrow, Janet, because we have no pictures. <laughs> you have what? We have no pictures. Oh, for this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, but you got names on all of yep, it. Yep, we do. Right? We got, I, I'm trying to describe it. We're, we're describing it good, and we're taking and care of it. Who is it? Who um, was it? Uh, MS is me. MP is me. MP and is Lucas me. is going with the stuff tomorrow to work all day with shipping with you guys on this. We're going to have Lucas go. I got an important meeting with a special person tomorrow, so... There you go. Okay. MP is me. Congratulations. MP is me. Once again, another. Uh, so I'm putting that down. Bye. Congratulations. You're only You're live the... auction on whatnot, right? Are, no. We're, no way. That's we can't be the right. only one. Whatnot gives you a total undersold. I'll tell you. Oh, we can look undersold and see the total. Okay, 70, I'm sorry. 76. <laughs> well, okay, well, we're not done then. Oh, that's funny. I guess we won't go over 80, or uh, not 80, 100. Okay, how about a piece of Majelica? You guys like Majelica? Same box. Um, how do you spell Majelica? M-A-J. M-A-J-L-I-C-A. Same -A box, a nice piece of Majelica. There's no markings on it. Uh, here's the bottom. Uh, you'd have to sell them all by 15 seconds sudden death in order to beat that world record. Well, hmm. That would be interesting. Well, it depends on what the record actually states. It was a, is it a time record or an item record or a combination record? Okay, we'll have to look into that. Uh, does it feel about a pound? Uh, yeah, it's less. Less than a pound? Yep. Pound or less. So, Majelica, this is the same collection, guys. Uh, and we're the items sold. So, it went by, it was the items sold. So, that means we have to sell uh, quick selling items like sudden death, uh, 15 seconds. 1,500 auctions is the record, somebody said. And started. Uh, man, I, you're right. My wheels are turning. We'll figure it out, guys. I, I have no no worry about this. Like, I, I I know that we can figure it out. If we did nothing but postcards. They said if it's for fun, you win either way. If so. it's for fun, we're going to win. We could sell postcards, Lucas, and, yeah. and do F uh, F all FRM. Or, we could do preloaded postcards, sudden death on every item, um, and do groups of postcards of like four at a time. With really great postcards. I'm not saying just junk. I mean really high end postcards. Um, a lot of risk. Yeah. We could do we could do jewelry. We could do uh, silver rings and silver necklaces and sudden death on the rings. Yeah. Sudden death on all that stuff. So if that's how the record has to be set, I'm up for it. Oh, somebody won. Uh, somebody Vintage won. Sydney. Vintage Sydney won. But I want it to be fun. I don't just want to sell like you know dollar and two dollar things. I want to have some really cool and fun, and expensive stuff. So we'll have to have. Don't put it up yet. Oh, you can't put it up yet. We'd have to have. Um, at least some pieces on there 
um, that are going to bring a lot of money to make it fun. I don't think they love the Majelica. <laughs> oh, now this is a different style. That's no, not that's as, the same bird. No, it's not. I don't want to sell the same. You don't want to sell that one? No, that's literally the same pheasant we sold earlier, isn't it? I don't know. It's not the same one. We're going to put that one well, back. Either way, it's a clear. All right, we'll sell that one next week, whatnot. That would be attributed to Hazy. It's too confusing. Okay. The box is getting empty, Luke. Man. Uh oh, Janet might be in luck. Our box is almost empty. I think only one seller. You can't tag team. Oh, they're saying only one seller the whole time. But what what does that mean? Only one seller? Does it mean only pushing the buttons or only talking in front of the camera? That'd be interesting to know too. Someone here on whatnot broke the world record last week. It was over a thousand items in less than twenty four hours. I mean, I sell. I, I've sold. Uh, I mean, we weren't we weren't going for a record, but the most items I sold in one day already was twenty one hundred items when we were doing a live auction. Uh, we started at eight o'clock in the morning and went till one with uh, twenty one hundred items How much one day. I've done that before. It was all live though. Uh, okay, Russian Russian stack set. Um, so that was my re my personal record, twenty one hundred and I think it was twenty one hundred items even. It's not heavy; it's under a pound. Russian stacking dolls. I'm gonna put them out in front of the camera so you can see what we got. There's the first one. Put that to the side. Here's the lady. It opens up. Here's the next one. And here's the next one. Wow, this keeps going. Isn't that the point? It does. Well, let me put that to the side. So we got how many of these? There's another one. You're putting these back together. I'll put them back together. I got you. I got you. That's the last one. Nope. There's another one. Oh. Oh, look. There's another one. Okay. This is fun. I wonder if there's another one. No, that's it. No, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. There's another one. Look at that little tiny, tiny, tiny one. How many How many is that? Holy cow. No way there's another one. All right. That was a little one. All right. So that little tiny orange one right there is the last one. So we got orange, then red is two. The brown is three. Uh, hold on. So three, four, five, six, seven piece Russian stack doll set. And so I'm going to put them back together and we're going to sell all of these. Um, While you do that, I'm going to start. And it started. And so there's the bottoms and here's, the, here's what they look like that way. Plus the others that are still here. So I'm putting all those back in there. <laughs> There's what they look like apart. Uh, here's the bottom halves. You're buying the rushing stack dolls, and now I'm going to put them all back together and stack them back up yeah. slowly. So how do we do this to the right speed here? They said open the bag of drawer and sell the contents one by one. We could do that. That'd be easy to do. All right. All right. I just put the big one over top um, just like that. We're going to put it in a plastic bag, and they'll all be together and, and safe. So... There we go. Uh, Nancy Camp won that group of stacking Russian dolls. Congratulations. And they even had the Made in USSR uh, tag on the bottom. Yeah, I see that. Individual sale and different than total items sold. Some, uh, sometimes confused when people quote records on whatnot. Individual sales is different. Well, it'll be interesting no matter what. If uh, I, I know that it can't be more than 2,100 items in a day. Uh, <coughs> well, it could be. But unofficially, unofficially, we, we have done that before. Um, when we were doing live auctions, and this is when we used to start our auctions with jewelry. I've been selling jewelry my entire life. We would sell live auctions with jewelry, and we would go. Um, I don't remember trays. This. You weren't born. We would start off with jewelry trays, kind of like the bags, but we would have them in trays, and we would number them all one through five hundred, and we would just start the trays, and everything was five dollar increments, so it was really fast. It was literally like. 5, 10, 15, 15 sold 10, and we would go to the next lot. And that's literally how fast we sold the first 500 lots. Uh, live auction. So it was crazy. Hodge donated all tips. I would oh. love to do a donation. We've got a nonprofit that we uh, we we get behind, the local one. Um, but anytime you guys would ever want to partner with me on donating to an incredible nonprofit, it, it's local. Uh, we raised last what was year. What nonprofit? I'm saying our Stronger Together nonprofit oh, yeah, last year. Okay. Uh, we work with a team, our local Rotary. Uh, we own, we not own, we started a nonprofit locally here called Tecumseh Strong that we work with a lot of high school kids and middle school and elementary kids in leadership development. We, we talk about goal setting, truth and sacrifice and stuff. Anyways, our nonprofit worked with their nonprofit and then a third nonprofit that just donates money to kids that are raising um, uh, scholarship money. Uh, and then they also go to cancer research. So the three nonprofits went together. We did a big fundraiser last year. And we raised two hundred thousand, I think it was. It was in, an insane. In one night, uh, two hundred thousand dollars. It was crazy. We had uh, we had around five hundred people show up to it. 
um, steak and bourbon dinner. It was a fabulous time. Um, so we do that every year. I'm planning on being on, I'm on that committee again. Um, we, we lead one of those three nonprofits. I do a lot of uh, work with kids in high school. So it's really cool. It's a really fun thing. So if we do something uh, and I'm going to raise money for a nonprofit, we're going to throw it in that one. There's, it's 100% volunteer. No one gets paid. Uh, there's no staff. It's all volunteered. Uh, incredible thing. Last year, how much did we give away the scholarships to your class? Oh, I think it was about like 2000 a person. Or maybe one thousand. So one to two thousand per kid, and all twelve kids on their football team. We gave scholarships to almost soccer every players, uh, the soccer team, uh, uh, tennis. Yeah, we, a lot of different all the teams. Sports and have the uh, so our our nonprofit that we started, we we teach leadership, and then we also uh, do a. But yeah, you can come to the Steak and Burger. When we do that, it's open. Uh, we're going to sell tables uh, every year. We do that. We'll advertise it this year on our YouTube channel as well. Obviously. Um, but it, it's a crazy, crazy event, and we it's amazing to see because the, the reason I started it was a, a kid that Lucas played football with when he was in the sixth grade, seventh grade, got cancer, uh, and he passed away, and uh, I, I like I did, spoke at his funeral and led that stuff, and uh, we, we started a nonprofit from that event uh, to help kids and just kind of share the love and the you know passion with them like, like Colin did. Um, so I, I've been working with nonprofits my whole life and just kind of really help, but that is a great nonprofit. I know everything about it because I started it and I, I believe in it 100 um, percent. And we work with two other nonprofits I feel the same about. So all three of us together do a, a fundraiser once a year where we all come together and we split the money thirds equally. Uh, crazy fundraiser. It's, it's fun. A lot of local businesses there. Um, and then a lot of people that believe in a passion that want to just help the kids. So anyways. I'm off topic. We'll sell like a couple more items out of this box. Luke, we're gonna have to call it a day because this box is almost empty. <laughs> it's getting late. Okay. We're allowed to sell a Harley Davidson motorcycle uh, watch fob. I think so, right? Why wouldn't we? Yeah, we can sell that. Okay. Well, there's a there's a, like a knife in there, but I don't think we can sell knives. So. Definitely not. So we're gonna sell this uh, motor shop Harley Davidson. There's the front. Um, here is the back. What is it? Harley Davidson watch fob. Really cool piece. Someone said yes to knives, but I don't, I don't know the whatnot rules on knives. So I'm not, I'm not going to put one up today because I haven't, uh, I don't want to make a mistake. And all right, we're selling this one. This is a really nice piece, guys. It's all signed up. It's, uh, uh, Napoleon, Ohio, CW's motor shop art. Art in Road County Road 134, one quarter mile north of State Route 24, Napoleon, Ohio. That's the shop that it came from. There's the tag on the back. What's that noise? The water. Hot water heater upstairs. We're going at it. Uh, nice vintage Harley Davidson piece in here. And this one is sold. Nanny Poo 62 won this one. Congratulations. I'll put it right here and make sure you get it marked. I have to get that the, only, the only thing left in here, Luke, that I don't think that would be worth putting up tonight. Um, hmm. This is a really cool piece, guys. I mean, Meerschaum pipes. Would you guys would you guys bid on a period Meerschaum, an original box like that? The dog. This is killer piece. <laughs> So you can have the longest auction, which needs to be over 24 hours and six minutes. That's the one I want to do. That'll be easy. Like that, I think I could break that tonight still. Um, I could just go. I think that'd be fun to do. Uh, someone else said night. Uh, yes, LOL. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell this, and then we're going to do our final giveaway. And the giveaway is a really cool piece. So let's sell this. They said yes to it. This is a Meerschaum pipe. Um, it's all original. Just a look at the case. Uh, this is an old Meerschaum. There's the old case. It is leather case on there, and it's got the dog carved into the top. Um, it's got like the amber or celluloid end. Um, there's what the inside of the pipe looks like. So Meerschaum pipe dog, and this will be the last item so Janet doesn't uh, call us any longer. I think that probably was her calling, trying to get us to quit this sale. Um, anyways, this is the one that you're getting. The last item we're going to sell, then we're going to give something away. And, and started. There we and go. We're gonna go. Last item of the night. Last item. This is a. I got off topic. I started talking about nonprofits. Now my mind's gone a different place and kind of took me out of the selling mood, man. I started, I feel 
you know, the Colin, the, the Lucas, Lucas's friend Colin that I coached and he passed away on me. Um, man, that, that tore my heart up for a long time. And we, uh, we actually were able to uh, help a lot of different people through all these scholarships. And we feel really blessed to be a part of it. Um, and I was able to speak at his funeral and stuff and just, yeah, it was really cool. But uh, give Jacob coffee. I got plenty of coffee, man. I'll, I'll tell you what, when we do, when we do this 24 hour, it will not be an issue. I'm telling you right now, um, we might just break it for fun and then break it again because we know we can. Hmm. Sure. So, uh, GG Tammy won the auction. I love it. Congratulations. Congratulations, GG Tammy. Thank you for bidding on that one. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, I, first, I want to say thank you all for being with us. Blessing. This is our, our Monday night premiere. We're going to have a lot of fun like this. We've been going for three hours. Uh, I'm just getting warmed up in a lot of ways, but that, that whole thing that, that stirred my mind with Colin kind of took me out of the, the motion here, the emotion of change. So um, I'm going to do this instead. So we're going to sell this, uh, give this away, and then we're going to raid. If there's anybody out there, we'll raid them. So we're going to give this away. This is a Santa Claus, and this is made by Christopher Radko, um, original pack Santa Claus. It is absolutely gorgeous piece, um, and so we are going to do that right now. Um, man, I appreciate the good, kind comments, guys. You know, I just – the more you get to know me, the more you're going to find out we're just real people down here trying to – Trying to do the right thing in a crazy world, man. There's there's a lot of a lot of bad things out in the world. We're just trying to show a little love here, uh, inspire people, and um, you know just just be a little light in a, in a dark world. So that's what we're about. You're gonna find that out the more you watch us. Uh, it has been a fun night. This has been fun. I cannot wait till the next one. That's tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Paper F goods tomorrow. F F or Emma tomorrow. What are we gonna sell tomorrow? Postcards. Postcards. We got. We still have ten thousand plus postcards. Um, so we're definitely going to sell some postcards, and I don't have the giveaway banner. I'm not sure what that did means. Did we not make it international? Did you not ship it, do it again? Did you forget? Yeah. Oh, get another giveaway. All right, I'm going to give another item away so we can do an international giveaway. We'll draw this one when we'll, you find the next one. All right, so I'll be right back. Here, hold this up. Luke, yeah? hold that up. Talk to him right back. Let me find something to give away. Sorry, guys. I'm very forgetful. What's this? Oh, he was supposed to put this on the pipe there we go what were you we saying uh when are you going through other boxes when are we going through other boxes i don't know you ask them if they would uh if i get going on a whatnot uh, pop up here in a couple of nights without joining us I think you guys could hear him. He said in a couple of nights maybe we could do a pop-up and go through a couple of those boxes that we got today um, so everybody enter the giveaway right now. We have, he's looking for another item. When he gets that item, I'm going to end this one and start the other one. So make sure you get in. Uh, they're all saying thumbs up and they would. So yeah, uh, I don't have giveaway banner. We didn't make it international. So if you're international, then we, that's why we're doing it again. We'll make it international this time. So everybody can enter. Uh, thanks for the great evening. Well, thank you all for joining us. Great show. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm getting tired, too. It's 11.03. Lucas, Lucas can't hang. I'm not showing up to work at 7 in the morning if we're doing a whatnot at midnight. <laughs> he needs his baby sleep still. Okay, I'm drawing this winner. All right, so we're going we're gonna to give away the Santa Claus, and then we're going to give away this precious, Five more seconds uh, precious moment next. So let's give away the Santa Claus. Hit the button. Let's do it. Uh, didn't buy a thing. I enjoyed watching your team, your family. You're all caring and transparent. Cool. That, yeah, I appreciate those kind comments, guys. That's so awesome to know. Uh, uh, who won? Bloomin. Uh, Bloomin won the giveaway. Now, do this one. Precious moment giveaway. Start it, and then you can tag this, right? All right. Precious moment giveaway. We're doing a double giveaway because we didn't make, make it international. Got international in there? Oh, okay. We're going to make sure we get – now, this is cool. It's a Christmas ornament. It's a precious moment. Um, I can't read the bottom because I need a magnifying glass to read that because these glasses aren't as good. But it is a really cool Christmas ornament. So this is another giveaway, guys, and this one's going up right now. Blooming, thank you. You're welcome. We're glad you're with us. If you enjoyed the show tonight, give us a thumbs up, like us, follow us, share us with your friends, uh, join us. We're going to we're gonna do a lot of whatnot over the next uh, few months here uh, as we get moving. Um, especially we're, we're remodeling for us. So, uh, yeah, we're remodeling at the antique center for our whatnot sales. Um, we're training and help train a couple of our staff members to help be able to do some dailies with us. 
Um, and so it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff. We're going to draw this in about six seconds. So it's going to be a quick draw. And then we're going to raid somebody. See so that? I deserve two on. Man, look at all the thumbs up, so Lucas. This is so cool, guys. We appreciate it. Um, we're, we're glad you're part of it. Man, we, we've had some really great whatnot shows so far. I mean, you think about it. We did that whole – we found that uh, military – Mm -hmm. uh, prisoner of war piece like man, i got so emotional we had to stop the sale that night uh we did that pop-up sale the first one i ever did was with kate across the street here in donaldsville at like eight o'clock at night i, I i'd never seen whatnot before uh, until she showed up and said oh i can sell your stuff for you let's go right now and then so since then uh we've been having a lot of fun with you guys if i go like this i can halfway see if i go like this i got to back up here to see you it's kind of crazy um but i'm gonna be a grandpa in a month and one time a grandpa, I'm going to get my eyes checked. So uh, let's give it away. Hit yep. the button. Here we go. Drawing winner. We're drawing a winner. And it's international this time. So maybe somebody international will win. And Texas. I don't Texas, think Teresa. That sounds like it's not international. But uh, who knows? She might be living in Belgium. Uh, so thank you, guys. Uh, well, I'm going to pick a show right now. Anybody got a suggestion on who to raid? Anybody out there? Um, Amy. Patron, I don't. Is that a good? Is that a raid person? Should we raid them? Needleworker. It used to be great show. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna flip over. And we're gonna find somebody. Be nice to them. Tell them we sent you. Yep. Uh, love Thank you guys. You Thank you joining. so much. Greatly appreciate you gotta it. Pick a raid. Uh, oh, I gotta hit the raid button. Let me see. Let's pick a raid. Uh, we're right, right where's it down right there? Create raid. <laughs> um, Whoa. Oh. Okay, let's go find somebody with not a lot, lot, but there's only there's not a whole lot of people up. Um, Postcards, we don't want to raid postcard guy tonight. We got vintage and antique stuff going on. Yeah, just one. Uh, well, you pick. All right, Lucas has decided to raid. Who we got? What's this? Vintage decor, one stop vintage shop. I like that name. One stop vintage shop. That's what Lucas said he liked. He's going yep. with that one, and that's where we're going, guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations, to everybody, tonight. Yeah, that thank something. you all. And uh, tonight blessings. it was a great evening. Thank you all for joining us. Good night. Bye-bye, everyone. See you later.